All right, I have never played 13 Sentinels before. I don't know anything about this game. I don't really know what genre it's in. The art looks like Odin Sphere. Uh, is it maybe the same creator as Odin Sphere? It also looks like Japanese teenagers going to high school, which out of the frying pan into the fire. I've been playing Persona 5 on Mondays for what feels like forever. Um, oh God, okay, it's gonna be fine. I'll be fine. It's a different game. There's just a publisher, right? They didn't make it. Uh, game audio looks okay on the equalizer. But if it ends up being too loud or quiet, let me know. New game. Uh, I guess English for people listening in. I'll do like Yakuza in Japanese. I repeat, we interrupt this program to bring you an important emergency broadcast. A large unidentified object has crash landed in the city. It is headed north toward Kisumicho. Odin Sphere devs. I like the art style. A state of emergency has been declared in Ashitaba City. Equalizer looks okay, is it? Okay, uh, audio balance right now. Please defer to the police for further instructions. Be advised that the express lanes are currently out of service. Roads are expected to face heavy congestion. Proceed with caution. I like Odin Sphere. It's a little bit messy with the story, but the gameplay is pretty solid. And it's very pretty. Interesting. Oh, it's a giant robot game. Okay. It's really happening. Pretty cool opening. Just as you said. Kaiju attacked. Oh. Like in that movie. Okay. So we'll do what we have to do. Get in the robots and fight. Got it. Our fate was sealed a long time ago. Nice. Efficient. God. Warning. Dino signatures approaching. Enemy in range. Was that my voice? It's like hearing myself talking in my head. Preparing to intercept. Initiating tactical analysis. That opening scene, I was like, oh, okay, she's like an expert at giant robots. Why are you in Sekigahara's Sentinel? Senpai, are you like Akun too? Did you come from the future? What? Okay, this is just like Odin's fear. <laughs> Do you exist in the creator's brain? That area is under attack by deep forces. I came here to fight, but I don't know how to control any of this. And this robot's not making a peep. No time for a full rundown. We'll have to settle for the fundamentals. Sentinels are made to be controlled with your mind. Think of it as another body connected to your brain. Try to direct it. You can do it. Okay. your brain nano machines you also have a direct feed of information from the sentinel sensors it should sound like your own voice is speaking directly to you that seems confusing for now you'll just have to get used to it as you fight can you move y yes i can walk senpai they're coming closer i keep getting these pop-ups in the way when i try to look around that's your equipment interface Use that to neutralize the D-forces in front of you. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but how's this? Move the cursor over a pilot and select with X. Look. 
action, destroy the enemy using arm mounted machine cannons. That was a tactical RPG. that they're kind of expecting you to use your imagination here but just having like video gamey icons for the enemies and your character okay well, I'm definitely gonna take down a big neighborhood in Japan but Scene robots. Another sentinel's been transmitted behind you for you, Saka Kun. But who is it? This is Sentinel number thirteen. Moving to cover for you, Saka San. Another teen. Select action, select heavy knuckles. Yeah, I don't I don't hate it in Odin Sphere that it's kind of like a messy storytelling approach that kind of assumes that you're in the author's mind in a way. It's, I bet it makes more sense on a second playthrough. G Molar. Okay. Oh god, what is it taking damage? Okay, some weird like active time battle. Oh, it's not. Okay. Did we do it? Okay. It's an interesting hook. Like, what's going on? Why are there naked teens and robots? Oh, this is who we're actually following. Okay. Um... Fine. Thought Cloud. That's fun. Tilt Shift. Okay. Assume it auto saves relatively frequently. It says protagonist selection, but I only have one option. Oh, 1985. Okay, that's interesting. This again? Art's really good. What is going on? Come on, Jiro. Let's go home. Shiba Kun. What's up with you? I just get this weird feeling sometimes. Like something's off. What the? Going to school, living my life. It's like I'm not supposed to be here. You've seen too many movies, man. Okay. Kun's a bit of a class clown, but he's a good friend. I always talk to him about you calling that a thought cloud. 
speaking of movies, I brought your video back. Thanks for letting me borrow it. Already? I just lent it to you yesterday. You wasted no time. Can you blame me? Uh, let me see if I can adjust the audio here. Let me know if it ends up being too loud later. Giant robots fights in the city? I was on the edge of my seat. <laughs> you sure love Mecha, don't you, Jiro? Okay, that's interesting. Here you go. Well, let me know if you have any others to recommend. Sure, yeah. It's a gigantic VHS. You really turned into a movie buff, huh? <laughs> Do you think it's too much? Well, now that you mention it, I've been seeing the stuff in my dreams, too. Yep, definite movie addiction. You're showing all the signs. Soon enough, you won't know the difference between fiction and reality. Yeah, yeah. I think I've seen a movie about that. Shibakun's a butt... Yusaka sounds asleep again. School's out for the day. Should I wake her up? No, oh, once I praise. Come to think of it, in that movie yesterday, the girl piloting the robot looked awfully familiar. Shall we go home, Asami-chan? Ah, uh, sorry. I've got plans with someone. Let me. It's Nenji-kun, right? Ew, no. I mean, it's... <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, I'm the only one. You're also looking. It's not fair. Deep breaths, Miwako. Hold on a sec, Miwako. Did you need something? Uh, not really. So as I was saying... It... Ew, no. I mean, it is a guy. Uh... She always seems to be sleeping. <laughs> it's odd. And then she shows up in my dreams. I can't help but be a little curious about her. Yori-chan met someone special too. Hey, by the way, I, I saw that one left. video up for rent. Oh, You're also the one you told me about the one other video. Day. Oh, really? Yep. There. Gonna rent it? I've got Deep to. Breath, oh, crap. Go. Give me a minute. I'll be right back. It's always something, isn't it? Guess I'll wait here. Wonder what he's up to. That movie's a hidden gem. It's tough to get a hold of these days. That one movie, okay. Hold on a sec, Miwako. Did you need something? Uh, not really. So as I was saying... They literally want me to just, like, wait here for him to come back? Hey, Fuyusaka-san. Rise and shine. Uh. Huh? Class is already over. Kurabe-kun? Um, thanks. You were out cold, huh? Just now, I... I had another weird dream. And you were there. Huh? Me? What kind of dream was it? Well, um... Dude! Huh? This sucks, man. Can't find Amiguchi anywhere. Wait a minute, what's going on here? You two are looking awfully cozy. It's not like that. Hmm? Oh yeah? Then what's the problem? <laughs> Don't mind me, carry on. <sighs> Sorry, Fuyusaka-san. Let's talk about this some other time. <sighs> yeah. What? 
I know, I shouldn't tease you like that. But it's your fault for keeping secrets from me. Uh, I should get going too. <sighs> main character sighs a lot. I don't really have a handle on this game's like formula for scenes like this. Like it's like you gotta talk to people repeatedly and select thought cabinet or thought cloud options. You're just waiting for me to play him. But the sucky thing is, he's never around unless you make plans. You know, Amiguchi Kun usually grabs a snack on his way out. Maybe he's still around. Oh, in the cafeteria? That's right. He was there during break, too. Oh. Kurabi kun? Uh, hey, Kurabi kun? What is it, Sawatari san? Those papers on the podium. Could you take them to Miss Morimura in the nurse's office? Me? Well, it's your turn this week. Oh, is it? Okay. Is this it? Y yes, that's right. Please take care of it. Grasp them more tightly, though, please. Keyword alerts are in the top of the screen. Pretty funny that he's got voice lines for everything. you gotta do but we're not giving up on amiguchi all right i'm gonna head over to the cafeteria grab your bag and meet me there when you can okay oh right my bag but... it'd be a hassle to come back here just for that she becomes right every once in a while i should bring it with me Hold R1 to fast forward text. Excuse me. Hmm. She's not here. What should I do with these papers? Can I just leave them here? Hmm? There's a document with my picture on it. What is this? I'm gonna do it with the robots. I'll just take a peek. Juro Izumi? It's my photo, but the last name is wrong. I'm Juro Kurabe. <sighs> Symptoms. Psyche stabilized via drug administration. Patient is obedient. General good health. Drugs, huh? <laughs> oh, Karabe kun. What brings you here? I think you forgot these. Oh my. You brought them back for me? I was told it was my turn to. So the nurse character is created by I Robert see. Jordan. You're a good kid, Karabe kun. Thank you. I appreciate the help. Shiba kun's waiting for me. I should go to the cafeteria. Oh, one more thing. Kurabe-kun, how is your current condition? My 
my condition. Do you like Japanese games that yeah. have like over the top Any systems, like a thought cloud Dizziness. instead of just like letting Headaches. you talk to somebody? Are you getting enough sleep at night? Why do you ask? There's a nasty cult going around. At this time of year? That's a bit odd, isn't it? I'll give you some medicine just in case. No, thank you. I'm fine, really. I see. If you'll excuse me. Was there something else you needed? I don't think so. Miss Morimura, have you seen Amiguchi kun anywhere? Amiguchi kun, the first year? I just made my rounds, but I don't believe I ran into him. That's okay. Well, you're still here? Shiba-kun, what's up? Amiguchi wasn't in the cafeteria. Figured I'd try here. Well, guess that's all we can do. Let's drop by the video store on the way home. Come on. <sighs> yeah, I guess it is the same as the FF2 keywords. Something wrong? Uh, we couldn't catch Amiguchi. The video store was a waste of time. This sucks, man. It's true that one video was already rented out. But we didn't come back empty-handed. What? That old-ass kaiju flick? Daimos versus Mecha Daimos. It's a real masterpiece from 74. You and your giant robots. Hey, I got a flyer from the theater the other day. It showed what movies they're playing this month. Guess what was on there? The original Daimos. Do you want to go? Jeez, a hundred times wasn't enough for you? A sci-fi movie from 1954. Heavy on the special effects. The first in what will become a long-running series. Miyorakun? The you activation. I know I did it right. Why won't it start? Uh, some kind of robot teen. Hello? Miyorakun. Uh, sure, Okun. What's wrong? Is everything alright? You look awful. Do you feel sick? I'm fine. <gasps> Your forehead. Did it just light up? Sorry, but you shouldn't touch it. <gasps> what the? <gasps> My hand's lighting up too. So, no. what's going sexually on? transmitted robots? This is bad. Okay. Sentinel number thirteen, transmitting. Don't tell me. Are you? Wait, it looks different. That's a robot from that movie. You idiot, what are you doing? Send that thing back. But <laughs> I did that? Okino's damn code. He added a forced activation protocol. Well, this will be interesting. Are you? At least interesting, it has this very like dreamlike no quality to it. I'm gonna need you to forget about this for now. Feels Shiba more deliberate than Odin's sphere so far. In terms of the weirdness. Okay. Mystery files obtained. Event archives obtained. This is such a strange game. I don't know what this is still. Okay. She's sleeping. Dreams won't leave 
leave me alone. I'm losing beauty sleep. Odin's fear is really weird too. Where you're going, okay? You could get hurt. Um, sorry. Huh? Wait, are you? Oh no! The morning assembly. Grab the book. An uncanny resemblance. Huh? Did she drop this? A student ID. Just never take like cool guy First teenager year, seriously. There's not a cool teenager on the earth. <sighs> Might be worth looking into. Yuri chan. We're interested in the subtitle Aegis Rim, right? Like. Uh -huh. I get that the 13 sentinels are probably 13 giant robots. You are sound asleep. Class is over? The teacher kept giving you dirty looks. Duh. You slept through the whole class. I'm Kisaragi. Tell me, Kisaragi. Ah, uh, I'm Sawatari. And I'm Fuyusaka san, right? I heard the teacher trying to call in. It's nice you. to have a really? teenager with a different notice. body type in one of these games. <sighs> I've barely even started my high school life. And this is how I make a first impression? Nice to meet you. You too, Kisaragi san. Call me Usami. Weird nickname, but I'm used to it. In that case, you can call me Iori. It's nice to be on a first name basis. I'm Miwaka. Usami chan sits at the desk in front of mine. She has red glasses, braids, and seems a bit weird, honestly. Miwa chan's my good friend. She's gentle, kind, loves talking about romance, even though she's shy with boys. Where'd you go to middle school, Usami-chan? Oh, uh... You know, nowhere special. Kinda far away, though. Huh. Sorry, I have to ask. Usami-chan? Yeah? You and Goto-senpai, are you close? Goto? Nah, not really. Why? Well... He's awfully popular here at school. Seriously? That guy? Jeez. So that's how it is. I saw you two talking in the hall earlier. Yeah, uh... Don't worry. He's not my type. Just an acquaintance. I see. Okay. Head is red. Well, she was sleeping on the desk. Oh, um, I kind of bumped into someone. Now the rest of your face is red. Huh? I wonder why. Well, uh, the guy I ran into is kind of cute, so. Geez, I feel awkward just thinking about it. Sounds like love at first sight. Really? Definitely. It was a destined encounter. You two are meant to be. Um, you think so? Maybe. Cute guy. Hmm. What is this? My heart is racing. I wish I could have talked to him more. He wasn't wearing our uniform, was he? Maybe he's from a different school.
You sure yawn a lot. Are you a night owl? Not really. It's just... I keep having strange dreams. They keep me up at night. What kind of dreams? It's hard to remember the details. Out a giant robot. Last night, I was surrounded by flames, like a burning city. This huge shadow started coming for me. And then I woke up. Uh... Getting used to the formula of you got to talk to the same person repeatedly instead of the dialogue just continuing. I do that in games like Souls, but I assume that's because you can like leave them at any given time without it affecting progress. Maybe it like breaks things up to make it feel like there's not as much dialogue as there is. Crepes? Yeah, I'm down. Let's do it. Jeez, that door was impossible to open. How old is this place? Okay. Gosh, Natsuno chan. Old Don't building. Break that door. I didn't. This school is so old, it still uses hanging lamps. You don't see that every day. Our school's pretty old. They were working on a new building for this year. But I heard construction was delayed. I think we'll be moving to the new one next month. Sure hope so. This place is a dump. I heard it was built during the war. Whoa. That means it's over 40 years old. It's not that old of a building. <laughs> Isn't your class next door, Nachan? Don't worry about it. I had to see your smiling faces. You know this girl? Yes, she's a good friend. The three of us have known each other since grade school. Natsuna-chan, this is Usami-chan. Last name, Kisaragi. And I'm not to know Minami. Nice to meet you. Great. Minami san, there you are. Busted. What are you doing in someone else's classroom? The teacher told you to prepare for the next class. Yeah, I know. Yeah, right. Oh, right. You know that cat we were talking about? I saw it. Really? Where? Outside the science room. Minami-san. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. I think I know that kitty. It has black fur with a white belly, right? You've seen it too, Miwachan? All the time. Dang. No fair. I haven't seen it yet. So it's behind the science room, huh? That's it. I'm gonna go looking. Hmm. Guess that nap did her some good. Find a cat. I don't see it anywhere. Where could it be? I don't know. I guess I just have to turn the game off. Oh, there's a cat. Oh. No. I found you. Hi, kitty. What are you doing hiding back here? Huh? Where'd it go? But why? Wonderland. Don't act like you don't know. It's Kurabe-kun with Amiguchi-kun. We have something here. Amiguchi-kun, this isn't like you. Just listen, okay? This is a first for me, too. You feel it, right? <sighs> I want to pursue this with you. Please. I don't know. It's just... Huh? Fuyusaka-san? 
What is she doing here? I... Uh, mm -hmm. I think as long as you love each other, it's okay. I thought that's what they were doing. What? Don't mind me! Bye! Wait! There seems to have been a misunderstanding. <laughs> me and this guy? Dating? <laughs> that's rich. <laughs> Sorry for the confusion. We were just talking about something. Yeah, Blockbuster. strange dreams we've been having. Dreams? So what are these dreams? Well, lately, it's been a lot of crazy stuff. Different every time. I don't even think they're in chronological order. But they do seem related. Hmm. Weird thing is, same goes for this guy. It's like we're seeing the same stuff. The more he tells me, the more I think it all lines up. Makes you think our dreams are connected. You wink too much, dude. Maybe we've just seen too many movies. I guess we do have that in common. We first met at that video rental joint, after all. Still, I can't help but think it's something else. Like, I don't know, telepathy? If not that, maybe it's a vision of the future. The future? Anyway, I'm just saying. Whenever we dream this stuff, we should compare notes. Hmm. I know it sounds crazy. Do you believe us? Well, actually, I'm more surprised to hear that's all it was. Because I thought... Hmm, class is starting. We can talk more later. Well, let's go, Fuyusaka-san. Right? Okay. It's a screen. So we have a little bit more context for this scene. Oh yeah, I got in this robot and. Oh good. Looks like you're okay. Eh, Kurabe-kun. Fuyasaka-san, everything you said came true. We got kaiju everywhere, right? I think I prefer my kaiju to stay on the silver screen. Like they're like explicitly way. doing something where like being in the robot is like an in-universe metaphor for sex or something that's fine right it seems to be the suggestion with their portraits though they're not just naked but they're like it weighs around 2200 tons with that kind of weight it can end up crushing its own components if it collapses this big robot looks so tough is it really that useless if it falls over don't let your guard down. We have another wave of D-forces inbound. You keep talking about them like that. What are these D-forces? Daimos. They're the kaiju. That's them. They're trying to reach the mainframe in the depths below. That's why they attack every terminal that has a connection to it. If they manage to reach the mainframe, this city will be wiped out. But we can't stay on the defensive forever. With so few of us, we could never sustain it. Instead, we have to rely on the terminal's internal defenses, a specialized program. That puts up an impenetrable shield around the area. The D-forces would be completely locked out. That's gotta be the Aegis system Ms. Morimura was talking about. But is it even safe to use? We're only using it to buy time. I'm completely fine with that sort of thing if it's like Whichever part of, of the narrative, closest, right? It always bothers me in games like Persona point. because it's incidental point. male gaze sexualization of the characters. Yes, the terminal sits directly below that point. Okay. What do I do? 
Already have way too many sentinels if she's number fifteen. Send the signal to the terminal three hundred meters underground. Either of your access IDs should be capable of activating it. And that'll fix it? That's enough to get rid of all the kaiju? No, it won't be that simple. The defense systems have a long startup. We'll need to buy enough time for Aegis to initialize. Until it activates, our mission is to keep the D forces away from the terminal. We'll try. Warning. Dymo signatures identified. Enemy in range. Preparing to intercept. Initiating tactical analysis. I still don't know what kind of game this is. I thought it was a tactical RPG, but then I took damage while I was selecting something. So it's like a Nexus? Okay. We get a limited number of those. Shoot through the city. Okay. Oh god, I think it is. As long as I don't have to generate units, I can probably deal with it. Assume there's no friendly fire in this. But it like kind of pauses constantly. I don't know. Okay, there's like a cooldown for the characters to act. It's not really an RTS. No friendly fire. Like Karabe is also naked and in a compromising position in this portrait, which is a good sign. It would be one thing if Karabe was just like fully clothed and sitting normally in a chair, right? Combat screen is like super abstract looking. It's this way. Follow me. We made it. Score screen in the corner is a little worrying. starting to panic down there. The sooner I'm out of here, the better. It has like... Um, That's weird. Saga Someone Frontier that originally did the shifting character perspectives like this. Not that it matters. I know that um, Octopath does it too. Huh? So, you came after me. Second so Densetsu 3. This has to be some misunderstanding. You can't be a spy. Can you? Hmm. Sounds like the professor, all right. Why did you run off? The military's looking for you. They think you stole some kind of intel. Tried Decapath. But you're the professor's daughter. You can't be a spy. It doesn't make sense. 
sorry to break it to you. I'm not his daughter. The real Kiriko Doji is still over in Tokyo. What? But the whole spy thing's kind of a stretch. I don't need to steal any secrets on the Sentinels. I'm the one who built them, after all. I'm not sure I believe this. You built them? Yeah, that was me. I drew up the designs in an editor. Then I just had to send the order into an automated factory. Normal stuff. But that's... No, you're probably just confused. That's all. I can't tell yet if this has like a very strong command of what it knows the audience knows. Or if it's like what Odin Sphere feels like where it's just... We're just going to throw this art at you, figure it out. <laughs> Either is fine. As long as it's not... Just lazy, it was right? As good a cover story as any. If you're not the real Kiriko, then, then who are you? I have no idea what this is going to look like. You That's why I cited it as an example. Maybe we you. just see all of their backstories and then we're or in a party maybe. after that. Who knows? This really isn't about who I am. Maybe it's just about what you feel towards me. I. Uh, <sighs> You're kind of a simple guy. There's something about you, though. What are you even saying? I'm saying I'm going to miss you. But my key just finished decrypting. <gasps> so that's it. This is goodbye. Yeah, me trying to puzzle out what the hell it is is part of the experience of a blind let's play. <laughs> Kiriko-san! She vanished? That's impossible. This is already significantly more interesting than Persona 5, so I wouldn't worry too much about that part. But I am going to be baffled for a little while. It was barely a moment. She can't have had time to run into the mountains. Where did Kiriko-san go? Oh, someone's coming. Oh, he's the one who snuck into the factory. There's something fishy about him. But if he's working with her, then he might know where she's gone. I'll hide behind a tree and see what he's up to. Tokisaka Shrine, huh? <laughs> if this log is right, okay, really disliked Persona over. 5, unfortunately. I still catch up if I'm fast. Coordinates read Sector 4 in the year 1984. Give it up. There's nowhere to run. Kiriko Doji. You know Kiriko Doji? Yeah. I knew it. Though that wasn't actually her, of course. Is that really true? She said something along those lines, too. She, huh? Must have been pretty convincing, then. His real name is Tsukasa Okino. He wears that stuff for his own reasons. But don't joke about that! You're just trying to confuse me! This can't be true, can it? Was the Kiriko Doji I knew really a man? I have this hours of thoughts Tsukasa on why I don't Okino. like Persona 5. I tried to summarize some of it at the end of my final episode on YouTube if you're ever interested. Hijiyama. So you're but, the spy. Yeah, it's, uh, but there's no I think I get why people now. who do like it do like it. What are you doing here? If I told you, you'd laugh in my face. Answer me. Or I'll do more than laugh at you. Oh, there's. I'm not gonna write that. I'm going to time travel to another era. Is that a joke, or are you just insane? I can't endure the theoretical um, You're YouTube comments on travel, such huh? a video. Try a better story next time. This Kiriko Doji of yours. 
He did it himself just moments ago. Oh, cool. Yeah, we'll Escaped keep doing this. Into the future. Turning off an effect every episode. Oops. I'm not falling for your lies. I don't have time for this. Step back. I'm going after him. Well, so you do know where she went. Where? Show me. You don't want to get caught in this shift. Keep your distance. Right, your time travel. I'd like to see you try it. Don't say I didn't warn you. It's a really interesting scene. Cool guy with a <laughs> pompadour. He, ain't gonna show. he knows you'd beat his ass no. watching my son. Probably shit in his pants right now. Turned tail and ran, huh? Guess he didn't have the balls after all. Whoa, hold it. What? Noodles stir fried in sauce. Enfolded in sweetened bread. I don't trust much in this post war world. But if there's one exception, it's my yakisoba bon. Okay. Okay. <laughs> don't give me that shit. Nearly knocked my friggin' arm out of its socket. You wanna apologize? Oh, did I hit you? Sorry about that. You're sorry? Sorry, don't pay my goddamn hospital bills. So, I don't have money if that's what you're after. Wait, Wajima-san, I heard about him. People been talking about this guy. He's the one who's been snatching all the jackets. The hell? Wait, yeah. This guy's wearing one of our uniforms. Oh, so you know the guy who owned this. I don't have any relatives around. I'm basically homeless at the moment. So the clothes and the cash were a really big help. He was a generous guy. Tell him I said thanks. Take care. Yeah, so far this game feels like a dream. Which is kind of cool, actually. Walk away! Come on! My yakisoba pun! I didn't even get a single bite! It's still good. Sussed it off. You just made a big mistake, punk. You got a problem with me, buddy? You're the one who's about to have a problem. I just, I cannot take high school people seriously. They want me boys. to take them seriously like they're in their 30s Sick or something. Them. It never works. for people who waste food <laughs> especially yakisoba pawn pretty funny what the hell happened i thought you called me up for a fight wajima someone want to tell me what i missed here and who are you a friend of theirs i'm nenji ogata from sakura high i didn't ask you to fight my battles pal wait it's you you're that jacket snatcher. Uh, Hijiyama or something. Takatoshi Hijiyama. At your service. I told them I didn't need the help. But they wouldn't take no for an answer. Yeah, I'll bet. Drop the tough guy act already. I could say the same thing. Don't go picking fights you can't win. I've heard enough, douchebag. And you owe me a fight. Come at me. Well, you're gonna regret it. <gasps> what the? Well, look at this. I guess you fit right in here in the 80s. 
Here I figured I'd have to check up on you. Oh, that's kind of fun. I like that. What? I know that voice. And that face. Wait! Oh, no. I was confused I in the earlier scene with the level of technology. Out of my way, damn it! That makes more sense. Looks like it's almost dawn. This is about where I last saw him. He has to be close by. That bastard kicked like a horse. Pretty tough for a thug. He almost had me for a moment there. Professor Doji led the Sentinel Project for our efforts in the war. His daughter, Kiriko-san, came along with him, but... What does it mean if this isn't her? Professor Doji oh, led the... No! His... Okay, looks like his I can daughter. go past. What does it mean? This can't be true. Was the Kiriko Doji I knew really a man? This... Tsukasa Okino? Looks like it's locked. A nice power walk animation. Uh. Guess you found me. Kiriko san. Were you looking for me all night? Still as reckless as ever, huh? Uh. Don't try to talk around it. I. I know who you are under those clothes. I figured you'd be here soon, so... Got some breakfast for you, too. Half a year I've been searching for you. Half a year thinking of what I'd say to your face. I got you some yakisoba pond. You didn't get any yesterday, right? You got yakisoba pond for me? <laughs> hey, look, that, that's not the point. Take me back to my own time. We're going, whether you like it or not. And if I say no, what'll you do? Push me over? Pin me down? I would never. Besides, you're a man, aren't you? Why don't you find out? Uh... So you're actually Tsukasa Okino. Why do you wear women's clothes? Doesn't feel great to hear you say it like that. You weren't complaining when you confessed to me. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not exactly the picture of masculinity anyway. Better than trying to pass as some militant with a buzz cut. So why I'm really interested where they're going now? with this. They're already like engaging with because I know you like this it. sort of a thing way more uh, earnestly than Persona 4 or 5 you're do. A funny guy, Hijiyama kun. <clears throat> let's say some binaries work for me and others don't. Nice. This lets me hide the fact that I'm even alive. Why disguise yourself as Kiriko san? Even convincing everyone you were a girl. Professor Doji thought it'd be a good idea. See, he's... Well, all Shikishima's tech really began with him. Shikishima made incredible strides after the war. And a lot of that was thanks to his work. Though it didn't hurt that I taught him about his future's technology. But why? Why would you make that deal with him? For the Sentinel. This chapter so far is like really interesting. <laughs> is she serious? She says she built the Sentinel herself, but. So, what did you plan to do with the Sentinel? It was an accident that it showed up at all. It was never meant to be there. I mean, come on, you've seen it. You think they could make that back in the 1940s? Even here in the 80s, it's out of our league. That's not human craftsmanship. 
It was made in the future, in an automated factory. Let me put it in layman's terms. There was an incident, and it got broken. Our goal was to fix it there so it could fight again. But wasn't it meant to be used against the USA? Uh, hmm. Then who or what was it made to fight? Never mind. I have to get back, no matter what. If we can finish the Sentinel Project, we can win the war. You're a good guy, but kind of an open book. You know that? Say whatever you want. I don't care who you really are anymore. Just get me home. I know about the air raids. And Okinawa, Hiroshima, Nagasaki. I can't just let those attacks happen. I can't let those people really die. Really interesting. So you did some reading in the history section. Between all the manual labor you've been doing, and your living conditions, or, well, lack thereof. You're a lot more determined than I expected. But this is exciting. I'll oh, wait till this dialogue's over. Okay, this is exciting because, right, like, kaiju fiction starts with Godzilla, and Godzilla is very obviously a metaphor for, like, nuclear warfare and a whole lot of other things. Like, yeah, it's a, it's a big lizard guy, but it's, like, it's about something, which is nice. Um, and I've seen a lot of, like, things that are really uh, aesthetically interested in giant robots and aesthetically interested in, in giant monsters and stuff that manage to not be about anything. <laughs> so they're even not here suggesting this might be about something, which I'm excited for. I do have one suggestion. There's something I still need to do. And that something is here in 1985. <laughs> yeah, there aren't any metaphors in Godzilla. Just need you to wait he just really hates finished. Tokyo. Actually, One of my favorite really stories is uh, with it. Moby Dick. It no frou frou metaphors, just a good earnest story about a man who hates an animal. Over. Then, you can ask me to do whatever you want. How's that sound? Anything I want? No, I... <clears throat> what I want is to go back to my own time. And eat... If you're sure. Sandwiches. Still, think it over. My base is over there on the second floor. Where are you going? I'm wearing the uniform. Where do you think? Oh, right. Your yakisoba pond's on the desk inside. <sighs> wow, was that your stomach? You haven't eaten anything since yesterday, huh? Go ahead. The door's unlocked. Thanks. The uniform. <laughs> Noodles stir fried and I don't trust them up, but if there's one except Noodles stir f I don't trust, but if there's one ex okay, I can't actually think Where'd about the uniform. Now? Maybe he really was just manipulating me. Well, it is Yaki Soba Pan. Not much I could do. If he's in that uniform, he's probably going to school. But what's he trying to accomplish there? Now <laughs> hold in the Yaki Soba Pan. Disables all your other thoughts. For now, I should find Okino again. It won't do me any good if he slips away. I might as well check my old school. Okay. More interested now. Until our foes lie dead. I'm not about to forget my duty, Yokino. 
Where to next? Don't get ahead of yourself. We're not done <laughs> here. Reinforcements. I see kaiju gathering from across the whole city. I'll release some more drones to expand our search range. Good. Leave the fisticuffs to me. What I'm worried about is the G-molars in the back. You see them? Jamolar? Is that what you call Jamolar? the ones? No, G-molar. As in, with the letter G? It stands for... You know what? Never mind. No, you're not going to tell me. Okay. A G-molar is a dimos built for excavation. It uses the spinning blades on its back to dig into the ground. They need to bore a path to the terminal. It's the core of their strategy. And we need to stop them. A slowpoke like that? All I need is one strike to take that one out. They can withstand intensely high pressures and break through any rock. If you underestimate it, you're the one who's going to get taken out. Is that where they're headed? Yes, that's the point closest from the surface to the terminal. But your Sentinel's a first gen, which means more mobility. That'll come in handy here. Can you take out some kaiju on your way there? I don't have much choice. We're going in. Okay. I assume all these scenes are just like auto saving constantly. Defend, you can't move. Make use of it strategically. Leap attack. The practice round's over. Okay. Here it comes! How's that? What next? Enemy threat range. Attacks ground kaiju several times, knocks away ground kaiju. Weird like selecting them like fast to used to it, I guess. Where do I see my EP? Unbelievable. I'm acting like an amateur. Let's see. Number twelve moving out. Unbelievable. I'm acting like an amateur. I'll make it work. Here, let's see. Unbelievable. Shit, I didn't mean to do that. I don't think I can cancel it. I'm about to game over here. I'll make it work. A fine hit. I guess these goons don't. I guess life comes at you fast. It feels like it's like kind of RTS like, sort of, but it's more like a. ATB uh, tactical RPG kind of weird. What next? Number twelve. Damn machines! They're in my way. I guess life comes at you fast. Number twelve. Damn machines. I'm um, like opportunity attacked here, basically. It's gonna take me a while to get used to it. Now you've done it. Unbelievable. I'm acting like an amateur. Can I like actually not target him from inside the I have to be on the roads essentially? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna lose now. This 
By gathering meta chips from defeating enemies, your meta gauge in the bottom left of the screen increases. Okay. Use meta skills when the meta gauge is filled up. So are they like electrical creatures? I feel like an EMP would be bad for me. Meta Don't chips. Know if we can do that, but we have a couple other tricks up our sleeve. Let me take a look. The terminal enhancements are available. You'll be able to unlock and enhance various skills. Okay. What next? Number twelve. Having to move along the streets is kind of interesting. just come back on its own as well you can kind of move during an attack command as well it's not clear to me when that works oh damn that was cool Aegis activation confirmed all the hostiles in range destroyed themselves like magic if we had that kind of weaponry you should have told me why bother with the sentinels when we have this good question it takes time to activate and if we get taken out before it's ready then it's all over it means the terminal would be fully locked down nobody could ever open it again is that a bad thing this is renya gotao you were one of the compatible pilots from sector five who are you communicating with I'd really rather not deal with this. Don't tell him, Hijiyama-kun. No one. I'm fighting solo. Sentinel signals detected. Interesting. Sentinels are being activated in another location. Number 17 and number 19. Just how many Sentinels are online now? So we made it through. And nothing in the thought cloud. Minami-san. Nachan. What are you guys talking about so seriously over here? N nothing really. Just talking about what our dreams were last night. Oh yeah? Anything interesting? Not especially. One of the auto advanced things here about talking to people repeatedly. No. Maybe that's what that means. The fact that they have this fast forward thing, stop on unread thing, makes me wonder if we're gonna see some of these scenes again. Just wondering about stuff. Like if dreams are influenced by the movies we see. Oh yeah. That video you asked for the other day. I was just about to bring it to you. No way! The DHS tape is bigger it? than your head. Thanks a bunch. I was you need to make it big enough for you to see what it is. I, I couldn't record last week's UFO mysteries. That baseball game was going on for freaking ever. A special series airing on TV. All about the latest UFO discoveries. I'm so glad I got a recording of it. 
I haven't watched the video you lent me yesterday yet. Come on. All the women it's in this game really don't want to put all their weight on both of their it's feet. A classic. I saw it in the theater three times. She is now. She's talking. You can't talk about aliens without seeing that movie. I don't really intend on talking about aliens anyway. Thanks for recording this. No problem. An alien stranded on Earth establishes a bond with a young boy in this sci-fi movie. It's a real 1982 classic. Okay. Bet you're thinking, Got here she goes about those UFOs it's e. again. <laughs> no, not at all. Bet you're thinking, no. You'd be the same if you watched this. They're already here on Earth, you know. Yeah. They look like octopuses and want to destroy us all, right? No, no, no. You've got it all wrong. That's from a book. You're thinking of the War of the Worlds. <laughs> oh, not John. There's no stopping you once you get going on this stuff. Just watch. One of these days, I'll work for NASA. And I'm gonna find a real alien. You're gonna have to get better grades in science, then. Oh man, you're right. A classic sci-fi novel by that one famous writer. By that writer. one famous writer. It features Martians that look like octopuses. They have three-legged weapons called tripods and use them to invade the earth. I'll get this back to you soon. Take your time. See you guys. Bye. See you later. I'm enjoying it so far, but I still have no idea what it is. <laughs> An hour in, it's not clear like what the core formula is. I think it's a visual novel where you occasionally have a tutorial RTS light battle. But even then, I'm not sure if those are going to become way more robust or something. Huh. You still haven't gotten your new uniform yet? Oh. Yeah, who the hell knows? But never mind that. What are you smiling about? Something good on that videotape? Oh, really? Oh, Six gun? This? Interesting. <laughs> Come on. Nope. You're gonna laugh at me. Okay, okay. It's a recording of a TV show on UFOs. A friend let me borrow it. <laughs> that explains it. Glad to see Dr. Space is still alive and well. I'm weird, aren't I? Of course not. It makes me happy, actually. To know you're still my notch on. <laughs> but maybe don't call me Dr. Space anymore. We've outgrown our kid nicknames, don't you think? I don't know, Dr. Space is a pretty sweet <laughs> name. Whatever you say. Oh, Gata. So that Kuri gang you beat up. They're hanging around our school now. What are you gonna do about Turn that quick thing off. It's, it doesn't do what I thought it did. Got it. <laughs> what are you, my mom? Huh? I'm no damsel in distress. I can take care of my own shit. So beat it, pinhead. What did you say to me? Okay, chill out, Ogata-kun. You don't need to start a fight in the middle of the hallway. I didn't start anything. She's the one walking around here like she owns the place. Come on, you too, Yuki-chan. <sighs> Fine. Sorry, Nachan. <laughs> what I like the... their commitment to none of them having well, the same uniform. Yuki-chan. <laughs> don't worry. That stuff happens all the time to me. Oh, by the way, can I come watch you practice again today? Sure. There's the bell. Better get back to class. See you soon. Today? Oh, well, it was kinda windy today. 
running against it and all. You know how it is. <laughs> hey, first year. What's up, Senpai? Me and the manager have to go and talk to the teacher. There's gotcha. things to discuss about the next meet. Sorry, but could you handle the cleanup today? Okay. Huh? Where did everybody go? Am I the only one still here? Hmm? Another suspicious looking man. I saw a couple of them in the schoolyard too. I wonder what they're doing here. Seems like they're looking for something. Hmm. Men dressed in black suits. <gasps> Wait a minute. Could they really be men in black? An organization that monitors alien activity. Maybe there's a UFO that's landed near here. A lone alien left behind by a UFO. Being pursued by relentless men in black. Its only hope is to be rescued by one chosen Earthling. Man, what a story that would be. Whoa! Sheesh, watch where you're going. Haven't seen that uniform before. Wonder what school he goes to. <sighs> I'd better hurry and get on with the cleanup. Don't want Senpai to get mad. Okay, let's do this. done oh uh, I'm too tired to change maybe I'll just go home in my gym clothes uh, I am pretty sweaty uh, what was uh, that? that's milky shit Maybe like ET. Something's in there. Uh, wait. What if? What's going on? Uh, there a pervert in here? There's a Wally in here. Still totally dressed. Hey, what the heck? What are you doing barging into the girls' locker room? I heard you scream. I was just coming to help. Plus, all those creeps in black suits. Been seeing them everywhere. So, uh, I thought... You're the only creep around here, you moron! Get out of here already! Damn, try to do something nice around here. Um... Hey there! <laughs> this is wild! B.J. No way! It talks! Oh man, this is just like the movies. An alien? Are you an alien from space? Oh my god. It's a tiny I'm robot. The chosen one. Hey there, little guy. Oh, did I scare you? It's okay. I'm your friend. Hmm. Can you understand me? You and I are friends. <gasps> it worked. Okay, stay calm. Welcome to Earth. I can't believe this is really happening. My dream is finally coming true. Yes. It all makes sense. Those black suits all over campus. It's just like that one movie. They must be here to capture this well, they can't say ET. The thing they were looking for. This explains it. And that means I must protect him. B J B J eleven. B J. Is that your name? My name is Natsuno. In a Lassiter code matched. Hmm. Not yeah, yeah that's me. His name is BJ. His mission was to protect Earth from other evil aliens. I 
don't mean to be rude, but is that a spacesuit you're wearing? What? Like, is your brain inside of a jar or something? Oh, okay. Not to know. Me, memory cell. That's amazing, BJ. Where'd you learn how to speak my language? Go to gate. Gate? I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about, but it's okay. I've seen the movie. You need to call your home planet, right? And then a UFO is going to come and rescue you. Don't worry, I'm going to help you. Search gate. Wow, oh, okay. this technology is crazy. It's from the future. You want to go there? I know exactly where that is. It's a shrine near school. Whoa, wait. You can't just go walking out like that. The black suits would spot you in a second. The location BJ pointed out on the map. It's a shrine nearby the school. Oh, they have a thinking animation. I can get him there, but I'll have to hide him in something. My PE bag. Yeah, this will do the trick. Sorry about the tight fit. Nuh uh. You gotta keep your head down. I'll get you to where you need to go. Just hang tight, okay? I do like the ET visuals. <sighs> okay. Doesn't seem like we were followed. Nobody's in that car back there. This is it. Toki Saka Shrine. This place has been here forever. A pretty good hiding place, too, now that I think about it. I mean, who would have thought somewhere like this was really a hub of extraterrestrial alien activity? Hmm. All right. We're here, BJ. That's kind of cool. What is all this? So bright. Are these holograms? Access code approved. I've never seen anything like this, except in the freaking movies. Designating sector. Wow. This is awesome, BJ. Oh, man. You're really good at... Cool. I like doing that at a shrine gate. It's fun. Was the earlier one also at a shrine gate? I didn't notice. BJ, wait up! Guy with Are the thick eyebrows. Behind? Jeez, this is getting pretty crazy even by dream standards. One second we're at the shrine, then we're surrounded by this weird light. And now we're in this place? What the heck happened to this city? It looks like there was a war. <laughs> There's more? The government has released a statement at 5.40 p.m. Japan time. Communications with major cities around the world have not yet been restored. It is likely that these cities have also come under attack by the same unknown enemy that has besieged Japan. Domestically, multiple locales are reporting serious damages. Currently, the unknown enemy has made landfall, swarming a large area across the bay. They are now thought to be headed in the direction of Kasumicho in Sakura Ward. That was news footage. Wait, no. That's near our school. Is this... Are we in my town? I need to know more. It's hard to see here, but we have to understand. What can only be described as monsters have descended upon our town. We can get DMPs though. To comprehend. I see five, six, seven. No, there's more every time I look. 
Yeah, they're trying to do the War of the Worlds thing. I guess they, by having the characters reference it, they're like, yes, we're doing that on purpose. <laughs> Thank you for mentioning the date. We're in the future? 80 years to be exact. This can't be real. Can it? Hey, where are you going? Yeah, the art's still really good. What? What are those? Is Odin Sphere like the same like writer, director, artist team as this one? Even calling it a tripod. Assume that that's like a direct quote. For, okay, yeah. <laughs> I think I know what they are. Well, it has four, so. Those things do have one extra leg. I was going to say. They're just like the tripods, weapons used by aliens to invade Earth. And now they're destroying my home. Is this really happening? Was Earth really attacked by aliens? Will Earth really be humanity? attacked by aliens? <laughs> BJ, why? Why did we come here? Search memory cell. Yeah, I know, but what is that? You're looking for this? Sentinel. Sentinel number 17. Ah! Way too many sentinels. Maybe the first four are just gone. That seems bad. Are they all the same person? That's actually kind of interesting. And this at least feels like, even if it's, it's not quite as all over the place as um, as Odin's sphere, but um, it's at least like a clear vision from like a person, <laughs> which is good. Doing just fine, Natsuno-san. You're a natural. This was his last gift to me. I gotta do this right so I don't let him down. Don't we have a bunch of bad guys everywhere already? Should we really be deployed all the way out here? Our sentinels were designed chiefly for long-range attacks. I was taught that my primary tactic should be long-distance annihilation. Never give them a chance to close in. So if they do get too close, that's bad news? Well, we've got electromagnetic battering ramps for both arms in case of close quarters combat. But we can't let them surround us. I don't know if we could fight our way out of that. Okay, got it. Warning, Dymo signatures approaching. Preparing to intercept. Initiating tactical analysis. They're coming. Mirakum, they're coming. What do we do? Should we shoot? Stay calm, Natsuno-san. Get a clear look at the opposing forces. The enemy may have more numbers than us. But we can hit them all in one fell swoop. Mirakun, I'm... I'm kind of shook up here. We'll be okay. We can use the electromagnetic rounds. Shake them up. Hey, thank set. you, Tryhard. Appreciate that. I'm Lost doing all right. How have you been? They're coming at us in one straight line. Good thing he has a line attack. I'm in the perfect position. Oops. Enemy on the move. Heavy railgun. Yeah, that's pretty great. Leave it to me. Did I get it? Enemy signal terminate. That was awesome! You caught them all in one shot! That electromagnetic round has the power of a salvo from 46 centimeter battleship mounted cannons. But a weapon that powerful comes Catch with high in. energy costs and high risks to match. If you don't use it carefully, you might end up out of power at the worst possible moment. George Kamitani. Tani. Let's go, Nantino. Okay, that's an AOE around yourself. P. 
TDAOE. So I can't really say whether it's a giant robot game or if it's a visual novel or both. <laughs> I think it's more of a visual novel than it is this. This part's still kind of cool. I'm curious if it's going to open these up a lot more once it's done tutorializing everybody. Let me check the Sentinel's data. Maybe we have a dossier in here somewhere. There we go. A surface wrecker. Colloquially called... A twin tail. Is that all we have? It's coming, Miracoon. Do we attack? Wait, I think we have new enemies inbound. Actually, isn't that Sentinels number thirteen and fifteen? Are they friendly? We're activating Aegis. This terminal will close soon. What? Juro Coon? You're in a sentinel too. They are, yeah. It is you, Nachan. We're here to help. No way. What's going on? I suspect that piloting these Thank things is going to be a metaphor for sexual intercourse in some way, given that they're all in like compromising together. positions, right? But I guess we'll see if that's just an aesthetic thing or if they take that further in the story. Um, okay. Second generation model Fuyusaka pilots. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting phrasing. Gonna be okay. What can I do? How do I? Lend us a hand. Kind of get so. unit creation. So everyone attacks automatically. Is there anyone who doesn't attack automatically? Just the person I most recently selected? So now it's having me select something. Okay. That's getting targeted by that. Okay, yes. I wonder if they're going to do a thing where, like, the robots are all, like, imprints of these people. And, like, they haven't actually been people for a really long time. Kind of a, um... Target confirmed. Did I signalis get kind of concept. Where your robots are all based on real people. I don't think there's any friendly fire. It's already a significantly more interesting fight than some of the earlier ones. 
Oh, don't I still have an enemy somewhere? What now? Gotta do something. Can't mess Let's go. What can I do? What to do? Gotta do something. What? I have to focus. The enemies are gonna spawn later, essentially. I can't like can't pass their turn, it looks like. Now. Oh yeah, we briefly met her. shortcut but it is so gross today muddy as heck my shoes are soaked hmm. what's up you look bummed it's nothing thinking about how no one talks to you again is that what's got you down it's just cuz you're so quiet Megami people take that as you thinking you're better than them or that you're cold and distant not sure which is worse they just need to get to know the real Megami. The one who's a hopeless romantic. And a cool, laid-back girl just like everyone else. Maybe then they'd have an easier time talking to you. Hey, you should try posting videos online like me. It could really help you come out of your shell. I think I'll... Hmm. <laughs> so now we're not in the 80s again, although we've seen this character in the 80s. You really are great at singing, Tomi. You watched my Inaba rabbit video? Mm-hmm. I never knew you were so talented. <laughs> well, you're in luck. I'm posting a new one when I get home. We do actually have a for real non-binary character. Maybe she's gay? They seem to hint at it earlier, and I was like, okay, this is gonna be more what clear bait it? anime queer baiting, that? but... There was a light. I saw it in the water. Probably just a car headlight. Yeah. Wow. Pretty cool. Pretty striking image, too. There's a giant rabbit. Holy crap. We could have totally died just now. What even is that thing? Could it be a piece of an airplane? No, that's not it. But what then? Oh, this is wild. I gotta document this. Oh no, where'd my phone go? Oh, really? What anime is it? A light, and it's moving? Uh, this seems dangerous. What if it, like, blows up? We gotta report this to the police. Uh, right. They do the kind of like Terminator style time travel. So are you from the eighties? Uh um are you alright? <sighs> Where am I? No. When am I? When? Well, today is October. No. The year. 
What year is it right now? Oh, it's 2024. <sighs> 2024. I must have been forcefully shifted here. The front line's been broken. <sighs> it's over. It's all over. Um, Do you like the time aspect of this? Uh, who are you? Oh, um, I'm just from the school nearby. No. Then that means this place is next. I'm Juro Izumi, and I've That's come from the a future. different name. This timeline, they're coming. I thought the game started in 1985, didn't it? I'm misremembering that. Yeah, okay. A cat. Oh, it looks so fluffy. Come here, Fluffy. Cat looks like Ben. Oh. Are you all right? You look a little lost. I was just thinking. It's uh, are written by a Robert Jordan character doesn't again. Even exist yet. Churro. I needed to see you just one last time. One last time? They're coming. And number 13 is the only one that can still fight. I have to go. N no, you can't. They won't let you. Taking back that robot, trying to fight by yourself, it's not a good plan, Juro. You couldn't defeat them even with all your friends. It's true. I don't know if I'll be able to protect you all, but I can't do nothing. But you haven't even recovered yet. Megami, I really am grateful to you. So, this is goodbye? Uh, I hope that it's not, but... Megami, this is bad. Uh... Juro Izumi. They're here, just like you said they would be. And now monsters are flooding the port in droves. <sighs> right. Megami, tell me, I've told a woman named Morimura about you. When the time comes, you must listen to what she says. Yakushiji-san? <gasps> I need you to stay focused. Miss Morimura, how is Juro doing? So far, this is working a lot better for me you than Odin Sphere. I still like Odin Sphere a lot. I'm not like shitting on it, but I think that like if this creator George, you said uh, his thing is like just kind of like throwing the art at you and making you figure it out, deliberately making it like dreamlike is a is a good strategy. The Juro like almost like no David Lynchian. <laughs> there was nothing else we could do. From now on, you cannot go near him. But it's for his own good. No, wait! <gasps> Juro! Huh? This is the school you attend. It is? How about we head back to the nurse's office now? It's important to take your medicine, you know. Stop. You have to stay away. He's Juro Karabe now. Not Juro Izumi. I don't understand. He is not the same person. Giving him a new identity was the only way to save him. Oh, I've established that, that before. Possible. It was the only way. I'm sure he would agree it had to be done. So for now, you need to stay away. At this point, he is still very unstable. Trust me, you're doing this for him. Just like you, Ben. I'm a cat, not a kitty. Oh shit, the cat talks. B what? All right, settle down. No need to make a scene. People are gonna start to think you're crazy. 
that cat just talk to me? I wasn't imagining it. This cat is talking to me. That's stupid. Cats can't talk. You might want to try thinking before you speak. Aren't you supposed to be smart, Megumi Yakushiji? How do you know my name? I know everything about you. You're the one who called me, after all. I... did? Yes. And now I'm here to grant you your wish. Your wish to save Juro Izumi. <laughs> Looks like I hit the nerve. So yeah, I can do it. I can get his memories back. Don't believe me? Oh, of course you wouldn't. It does sound too good to be true, doesn't it? Well, yeah, I'd like to play I more of it. Go around granting wishes for free. In exchange, I need you to do something for me. After you agree to a binding contract, that is. <sighs> like with a like a demon. Assuming this isn't a dream or a hallucination or some kind of cruel joke. What exactly would I need to do for you? I come from another world. One that was destroyed. Destroyed by a relic of an ancient civilization. It is called the Daimos Code. Oh. It spreads like a nasty curse and has begun to infect this world too. I must find all the codes and set things right again. That is my mission. The Futurama and episode the with the cats. Derby you get to do. If it's so easy, why don't you just do it yourself? You're not serious, are you? In case you haven't noticed, I'm a cat. You really want to leave the fate of the world to a cat? I don't even have thumbs. If I screw up, you're dead too. You're only damning yourself if you refuse. If I told anyone about this, they'd laugh and call me crazy. I'm sorry. But this all just seems so impossible. There's nothing impossible about it. <sighs> all right. I'll give you some time to think about it. I suppose it's a good thing you're skeptical. Instead of some idiot who believes everything she hears. Make no mistake. You will accept my contract. I figured. But it's I thought it would be interesting if I couldn't. If it really is true, and there is a way to bring back Juro, then I'd make a deal with the devil if I had to. Yeah, I, okay, I got it. <laughs> cool. They're not too in your face about it, though. Tell me which of these bozos I gotta trash. The 
one with four legs, right in front of you. Tomi's Sentinel won't be much good against it, but your first generation Sentinel is perfect for close combat. Okie doke. I'll try. Rush leap. Okay. What now? They're like any other punks. Number ten, moving out. What do I do? They ought to be used to fights by now. Come on! Got him! Must win. We will not. This is all pretty freaky. Guards against her attacks, like they said. Can't really get out of the way of that, as far as I can tell. Nor's armor. kind of cool. I haven't encountered that really before. If that's true for Odin's sphere, it's not apparent yet. Well, that makes me interested to see Did more of it. We've got two more threats incoming. Fine by me. I was just thinking I was running out of ass to kick. My sentinel's fixed. I can get back on the field. Please, Tommy, let me fight with you. Sentinel number 23. Transmitted. I'll protect you. Two girls and their robots against the world. You know, we could record this and be set for life. Uh, without the protection of the Sentinel, pilots on the field can be killed by a mere explosion. So you can do very limited movement when doing a melee attack. It looks like it doesn't cost you anything. I won't give up. Initiating shield. Thanks. I'll try. I can only target one of them here. G-molars. What do I do? Let's do this. Take it. I'm getting to work in the See, so they still like body block each other. I'll try. Die already. Yeah. That's what you get. We must survive. 
I don't see the shield reflecting on their health. Is it something that gets put on the board instead? second year. We should go get some crepes. I know a great little place near school. Yeah. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Yakushiji, prepare to intercept. The D forces have changed course. We won. Let's go. That's the gang from Curry High. What's going on there? I'm done talking. Hey, Wajima. Trying to get a date? Amiguchi. Got nothing to do with you. Get out of here. Threatening a girl? Not a good look, man. You think these chumps are a threat to me? Really? Just another pack of posers. What? Gotta call in your punk friends to take me on? He ain't with us. You stay out of this. Sorry, but you know I'm always on the lady's side. You think she's gonna fall for that shit? That's Takamiya from Suzu High. Wait, the gang leader? The one who beat all you guys up? No way. I only trashed three of these clowns. Now it's payback time. Can't let some chick get away with disrespecting us. We got a reputation. How you doing? The name's Amiguchi. Back off, lover boy. Still running that mouth. Now come on. Bad move. Hey, cut that out. Last time I'm gonna say it, Amiguchi. Walk away. <laughs> Did you seriously just... Newsflash, buddy. I can't walk away from a cutie in trouble. Amiguchi! Time to go. Follow me. You gonna be okay after that? What do you mean? Wajima, man. You know that guy's an amateur boxer, right? My days are numbered, huh? Well, do I get a last wish, Takamiya-san? Cause I gotta say, I'd love to know your first name. Ugh, does this guy hear himself? What? Sorry, you're gonna have to speak up. It's Yuki. Yuki Takamiya. I'm Shu Emiguchi from Sakura. Huh? What's up? That's where I'm transferring to. You're kidding! Well, hey, that means it's gotta be destiny. You want to go get a drink somewhere? I'm good. You can just let me off. I got places to be. Well, I'll drive you. I'll take the train. Really? It's fine. Where am I headed? Take a hint, man. The crosswalk in front of the Shikishima building in Aoi. I know it. Gogyo Street, right? Big commercial district. What? You got a part-time job? No, there's just oh, a ton of people there, idiot. I'm getting off. Ah, oh, okay, you win. I'll save the questions for later. Just hang on tight. We're going full throttle. Well, thanks for the ride, I guess. But your driving sucks, man. Hey, uh, you got a boyfriend? Oh, it, hell no. Oh, cool. When do you start school? I'm transferring next week. Can't wait.
I knew it. That was Ms. Morimura. And this is the Shikishima building. Shikishima Industries. They're the ones who make ships and planes, right? What's our school nurse doing in there? You're a chaos. <laughs> Judgment Day. Guess okay, yeah, they're definitely the wanting to do the Terminator like stuff. Turned out to be pretty useless in close combat. Just the time travel animation isn't the whole Should thing. Some arms. Maybe then we'd stand a chance. Yeah, a big metal weaponized punching arm. Would have been great. Hopefully Kisaragi-san and the others managed to escape. As long as they got to the shifter gate, they should be okay. You realize how far we are from that gate. Too far for us to make it. Don't give up yet. Can you check that 98 over there? Pop the maintenance hatch. We're not out of options yet. You really think there's a point in fighting anymore? Not fighting. Escaping. <sighs> right. It was through shifting that we got the 98s into this era. So it could be linked to a shifter. It might just get us out of here. I've already input the shift coordinates. You disengage the auto control Look, and switch to man. Her left and right facing Where sprites. Are you going? We're going to need more power if we want to jump. I'll see if we can get it out of the downed 98. A direct feed, huh? Looks okay. Basically everything's operational aside from the legs. Things are getting bad out here. No, oh, she's They've closed. Taken the last mainframe. <sighs> We've lost, but it's not over yet. Listen, I've got just enough power to send you. As soon as the system's ready, you need to shift. What are you saying? No time left. Can't make it back. Sixteen years ago, I'll be on Sumire Bridge. Find me and tell me everything. Next time, Itakun. I know you'll That's cool. Find yeah. Me. Got kind of like an edge of tomorrow feel to it. What was that called? The the visual the Japanese visual novel that's based on Edge of Tomorrow. That wasn't a visual novel. It was a graphic novel, right? That dream again. That's definitely not how she usually looks. But I know that was Ms. Morimura. Oh, a giant mecha, a ruined city, and a gorgeous teacher in a cat suit. Jeez. All you need is kill. Like that sounds right. Been watching too much anime. But man. I still remember how the ground felt under my feet. That felt way too real. I should read the original story. I like the movie, like the first 95% of it is one of my favorite sci-fi stories ever. I don't like the way it ends, but. Huh, did I leave the TV on? Kind of late for a music show. I feel like I recognized those lyrics too. Oh, she's that new idol. Been getting big lately. That's good. Otherwise known as Tack of Curry High, one of the top dogs in the gang at Nigakuri Industrial School. <laughs> How did it turn itself back on? Is it broken? Really? Now it's a drama. Late night TV gets weird. I've been looking for you for so long. Please help me, Shu Amiguchi. Uh, that's my You're name. The only one I can turn to, Shukun. What the heck? Is this a hidden camera thing? No, this is no TV show. Shukun, I'm talking to you through the TV. Please save me. Interesting. Hey, thanks, Bucky. You've been. Calm down, you 
John, we've got Kaiju on all sides here. I don't take orders from you. I gotta fight Nanchan. Wait, something's coming up. It's a Sentinel. Number 22? Number 22, advancing. Two aerial models, which means Amiguchi and Takamiya, I presume. Uh, it's just Goto. We're going to have the terminal defend itself. I'll need your help. Screw you, buddy. Do it yourself. If I don't find Nachan fast. There. I finally got through. Yuki-chan, it's me. Nachan, I'm glad you're safe. Wait, you got in? I thought I told you that thing was dangerous. Just hold on. I'm on my way. But no, no, you stay back where it's safe. We got buttloads of kaiju over here. Damn it. Goto, we gotta do something now. Glad to hear you're feeling so cooperative. I see things in the air. Are those enemies too? I've confirmed their position. Those are aerial daimos called hunters. Great. We got flyers now? They specialize in aerial mobility, much like our fourth generation sentinels. Melee attacks won't reach them. We can't rely on ground-based missiles either. Kinda short on anti-air options here. Amiguchi-kun? Just collect the meta chips. They can expand our mech's functions and unlock new weapons. No, okay. How about you guys handle this tech stuff? And I just kick the shit out of them. Oh boy. We all better watch out for her. Okay, let's do this. Slowing movement, overheating. So it mentioned doing enhancement, but it's not actually letting me do it yet, so I must not require it. Was good. No fight, I can't win. Here you go. That's to it. Give it up. May as well use that, right? It doesn't cost me much. Here. 
seems bad. range of that, I think. Not a problem with that one. Stay calm. I can do this. Are we winning? <laughs> Missiles. Combat's definitely getting more interesting now. Uh-oh. Fortunately, I already used my EMP. Okay, just... Like the auto advance got shut off somehow. Wonder how that happened. That's fine. That's why you've been following me. Of course I do. You can't escape us, a eh, Sekigahara. Sekigahara. What do you want from me? Tell me. <sighs> Guess you have a death wish. Wait. It's because you came from another dimension. Another dimension? Enough with the games. Tell me the truth. Resistance is futile. Surrender now or else. If you won't answer my questions, then talking to you is what's futile. Nice. <laughs> Another dimension. Stunning them. Could that really be true? Even if it is, there's no way I'd be able to tell. I think it's the same thing. I think it's another timeline. They're gone. Good. He's still alive. Of course. I made sure to set it to stun, not kill. Just who are these guys? Hmm. Maybe he has something on him that'll give me a clue. Just a pair of handcuffs in his pocket. And... Some old communication device? It's huge. All he has left on him is his wallet. They've already established that there's multiple timelines, so these, see there's a different reality offshoot due to things that happened in the past. Nothing in here but cash. Might as well put it to good use. I haven't eaten a thing in two days after all. Hang on. This is strange. The designs on these bills look completely different. There's even a 500 yen bill. Aren't those out of print? And these coins are from back in the Showa era. I'd better not use this here. Its range looks to be only one or two kilometers. That means his little friends can't be too far. If I mess with it now, they'll know I'm nearby. 
I should have two or three shots left if I can serve power. This gun does feel a bit out of the ordinary. Could it really be from another dimension? Doesn't look like he brought any backup. Guess he's my only pursuer for now. That it? Hey, Seki Kahara. It's no use. I can't remember anything. But that's what he called me. It has to mean something. Public transit is too risky. It's likely under surveillance. It might be safest to travel along the river. But before that, I should really get something to eat. Two days ago, I woke up in that alley. My memory's gone. Since then, I've been on the run non-stop. Where am I? How did I get here? I can't remember anything. What is this? Shoot the Some nurse. Kind of gun? Why would I have something like this? Is this thing real? Why would I be carrying a weapon? Hey, miss. Are you okay? Right. <laughs> she isn't breathing. I wonder what happened here. Imagine putting together a timeline it's of this. No use. I still can't remember challenge. anything. Did this? Looks like she's bleeding from the abdomen. Based on this evidence, the gun appears to be the most likely cause of death. Is it possible this woman and I know each other? All I know is I woke up next to her with a gun in my hand. Was I the one who killed her? Is it possible all I know is I woke up next to her with was I? Everything is a complete blank. Why am I here? I don't even remember my own name. This is where I woke up. Did I miss anything? Pills? It's highly likely these belong to me. All right. I should see if that woman has anything useful on her. It might serve as a clue to what happened here. Oral NM C0204 is printed on the label. The bottle's made of plastic. There's nothing inside. There's something in her skirt pocket. A piece of paper with numbers written on it. Are there any other clues around here? Skirt having pockets is pretty cool. The note says 443-685-3214. What could it mean? password of some sort there's nothing else here oh, I haven't checked my own pockets yet let's see an ID card a no, that's the ID one that she dropped right and a key but to what a, a gigantic car this appears to be someone else's student ID Sakura High School, Class 1B. Iori Fuyusaka. Fuyusaka. Her face does look familiar, but I can't remember how I know her. It's uncanny, though. Almost like she's important to me, in one way or another. There's an emblem on it. Maybe it's a car key? Someone dropped an envelope here. Could it have something to do with that woman? Whatever's inside seems to have stayed dry. There's nothing written on the envelope. Some documents are inside. You want to look at the, the documents? She has nothing else on her. The notes for what could it mean?
The top right corner, it has two green bars. Are those supposed to represent items I still need to look at or something? It's a student ID from Sakura High. It appears Iori... F There's a note and what Chihiro... Oh, there, now it's reading it again. That's weird. Occupation, teacher. There are instructions written on the note. If capture is not possible, then shoot to kill. There are instructions. Chihiro Morimura. There's no doubt about it. That's who this woman is. Well, was. Chihiro Morimura, a key member of Shikishima's weapon development team. A note that was Makes sense. She's a high school nurse. Morimura. It says, if capture is not... See what we can find. Someone's coming. I won't be able to talk my way out of this one. I need to get out of here before they see me. Check down this back alley, too. Oh, they've got me surrounded. I need to hide. What a mess. Where'd that boy run off to? He has a gun. We'd best proceed with caution. We're authorized to use deadly force if necessary. Yes. We need to clean this up quickly. If he gets away again, we're in deep shit. Let's contact HQ and tell them we're on it. I'll leave that to you. We'll monitor public transits. He can't have gone far. They're like both men in black, men Sounds in black, like and after. And that means the Matrix agents. Why can't I remember? Share a no common origin, I guess. I can't let myself be captured. At least until I figure this all out for myself. I do kind of like the way of describing it as like storytelling where you're making a puzzle and you do the corners and the edge what pieces first now? and then fill in. It's I weird. I don't think back, I've encountered it before. To me. At least it that hasn't been apparent in what I've seen so far about the sphere. This game, something about it does a better job of conveying to me on a first playthrough that Did you it's like this on purpose. <laughs> you stick out like a sore thumb in this part of town. Get yourself somewhere with lots of people. I still don't know how they do it, but they're able to track your general location. Wait, who are you? I'm here to return the package I borrowed from you. A package? Yeah, I left it over there. See ya. That girl said this belongs to me? Hello. I can't imagine how seeing this must make you feel. Forgive me if it's theatrics. I didn't have much choice. I'm sure you've noticed by now. My name is A. Sekigahara. I'm you. If everything went according to plan, then I'm talking to myself, but with no memories. We don't have much time, so I'm only telling you what you need to know. This is not your world. You're a human from another dimension. This place you're in right now, your stay here was intended to be temporary, but... There was an accident, a very grave one. And now many people are unable to return home. I, well, you are stuck here as well. <sighs> but don't give up yet. There's still a way back. Unfortunately, I can't tell you here. You understand now, don't you? If they see this recording, they'll know. So I've hidden the information you need elsewhere. Its location is known only to me. You must find it. And don't get caught. It's cool. If you do, I kind of like the choice too to like save this stuff to open with the like the Japanese kids in school scene where you're like, okay, what is this? <laughs> this could have been the opening scene and would have been a really strong hook, but I think saving it has helped the player to speculate more up to this point. First things first, I need to get out of here. If what that girl said is true, then I'm not safe here. I do like that there's little things from the other stories that keep uh, sneaking in, like the the little BJ robot. Okay, we're on penis number seven. Let's go. Number 19, commence movement. The scout 
scout units picking up multiple sentinels. Some are even fighting. Hey, Taro. Holding up all right? Takatoshi-san, so it was you. No matter the war, it's an honor to fight at your side. Shinonome-kun, you deployed without permission from no, the Shinonome-kun. No, it's okay. Facility. It's actually fortunate I just played Persona. Another sentinel's being transmitted close by. Quite a party here. Did I miss an invitation? Aikun! You came too, Sekigahara? And why are you in that sentinel? As long as it's functional, does it matter? It matters a lot, but it's not just like relentlessly stupid. Going back to the front lines. Wait, stay in position. If any one of us tries to do this alone, we lose any chance we have at victory. Fine. So you call the shots. You're the only one here with command experience. We will split into teams individually prioritizing attack and defense. The assault team will include Sekigahara, Shinonome, Karabe, Hijiyama, Miura, and myself. The rest of you will defend the terminal until Aegis activates. Operation Aegis. We're really doing this, huh? We're short on firepower and time. We'll need every trick, every weapon in our arsenal. Right? Activate Aegis or destroy all kaiju. Time left until Aegis activates is displayed at the top of the screen. Check the terminal until the system activates or destroy the enemies. Okay. Where are they? Enemy on the move. They don't stand a chance. Yeah. Have fire emblem permadeath, but it's an actual loose condition, exactly. Like it is effectively for Fire Emblem. Anti-air defensive flares. And hit those guys. Oh. Don't waste any chance. It has the sentinel. Number eleven. Moving out. Don't waste any chances. How's the sentinel? Place. It's it's safe. My turn. Don't let what's the plan. So can I like interrupt the move with an action? It seems like that's possible. my shot you say here we go did I get it threat suppressed I gotta think that's it got it they're down no dice they've got me trapped how's the sentinel Don't 
Certainly helps. Duke. Everyone all right. Beginning of the end. Oh, so we've finished the tutorial. Okay. <laughs> Even balance between battles and story makes battles easier. Might temper some of the thrill, but allows you to focus on the story. I usually just play on normal. Whoa, this is weird. Play through the story in remembrance, engage in battles and destruction, and review events and lore and analysis. Uh oh. Oh, this is putting it in order. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. I like how brief it is, too. Quick little paragraph, and you usually can tell what it is from the scene. Okay, let's see. Stories diverge based on the actions you take. I don't believe you, but I guess we'll see. Complete Ninji Ogata's victims of poison events. Oh, this is kind of cool. Destruction, wave two cleared, and you can do it. Right. Yeah, so you have a feeling for the game at that point. I think that's smart. Yeah, that's kind of neat. So if I were to revisit this, I could now make choices that matter a branch of the different timelines. Okay, I see. Oh, I forgot I had a flyer in there. The one for the Daimos movie. Bad news, Juro. Amiguchi's gone missing again. Usami-chan! And he's at the cafeteria. Get ready to head over. Are you thinking of crashing his place again? Why not? A sci-fi movie from night the first. I never finished reading this. What's so in the top right corner? Am I supposed to already know what those mean? It seems like it's like you have two things you haven't investigated in your inventory, and the four red boxes. Is that this week's issue? Yep. Last week was a real cliffhanger. I'm dying to know what happens. Well then. Allow me to explain. After all hell breaks loose, the main character just... Stop right there. One more word, and you're going on my shit list. <laughs> Yuri -chan. Hey, remember the original Daimos movie Sorry. I mentioned? I have Mighty Kaiju Daimos? They're showing sure? it at the theater right now. Wanna go see it? Isn't that the crappy old theater by Tsutsuji Station? I'd rather rent it on video. Then we can watch it on Amiguchi's big TV. Cheaper, too. Sorry, Miwa-chan. I'm so cool. I'll be home by myself. Crap. I gotta get going. Okay. It's not the one you were looking for, but... <laughs> I should have found a little too. something else you've been see wanting you, to see. You know, Later. that Bye. hardcore foreign movie. Don't make it sound so creepy. It's just a sci-fi flick. I also take the next episode of that drama series, the one where the alien runs away to Earth. Hmm. Is that the one where he teleports from the UFO to the bridge? Uh, oh, you've seen it already? I don't really remember watching it, but... Uh, I don't know. Maybe I did. Wow. 
While I was taping that show, I remembered something else. I totally forgot last week they were airing UFO Wars on TV. I can't believe I missed it. I actually taped UFO Wars myself. Want to borrow it? Okay, this thought cloud oh, system I mean, makes look. a lot more sense now that we're out of the tutorial. Great, I'm like, I this is just, this is mode. unnecessary. Hands on some better tapes. About Fuyasaka san. I notice she always leaves during break time. Yeah? What about it? I'm just wondering where she goes all the time. Judging from what the other girls have been saying, she runs off to the nurse's office to take a nap. She's sleeping? What? You wanna follow her to bed? <laughs> Come on, quit it. We can't go to his place every single day. What if we're annoying him? Then let him be annoyed. I still get to play his games. I just got Miyuki and Abba's new album on tape. I don't have a cassette player. Then why'd you buy it? Don't just leave me here. Hey, if we're going to the cafeteria, that's the long way around. Let's use the other stairway. Here either, huh? Well, oh, crap. So much for gaming today. Huh? Oh, Juro kun Hi, Minami san. Uh, What's up? Well, uh, you know, about that guy. I'm just wondering how long he's planning to stay over. Ah, right. About that. Um. He's got a lot going on, you know. If you could let him stay a bit longer, I'd appreciate it. You're the best. Oh, would you look at the time? I've got to go. Let's talk later, okay? You can have some interesting stuff like seeing her. Okay, does she have the robot in her bag at this stage of the story? Or... Who's that chick? Minami-san, my neighbor. My grandma's pretty close with her family. You're looking pretty close yourself. What are you trying to <laughs> imply? This is a serious issue at home. I was supposed to have this free time to myself. Ah, so much for that. Oh, <laughs> sure. Ever since that day, my life's been turned upside down. Uh huh. Uh, guess I fell asleep. Hmm. Smells good. Oh, you're up. Dinner's almost ready. Could you get the chopsticks? Thanks. Go ahead and place them at the table. She probably didn't realize it, but these are matching chopsticks, like, for a married couple. <sighs> that only makes me feel even more awkward. There we go. <laughs> it's like we're newlyweds or something. Okay, no. I'm not following that train of thought. I need to come up with a way to kick her out. Dinner's ready. Shall we start? You have bags under your eyes. It's because you stay up late watching movies every night. You need to get to bed early. We're the same age. Stop acting like you're my mom. Besides, I can't fall asleep even if I wanted to. Oh? Why not? Well, because... <sighs> you're here. Me? Have I done something wrong? Come on. We're a boy and a girl alone together. Puberty exists. Uh, are you Puberty trying exists. to torture me? Hey, uh, we really shouldn't be living together like this. 
Are you afraid of someone finding out? Well, that's part of it. Anyway, I want you out of here by next month. If you say so. Someone's here. Hide. Jeez. Jiro-kun, are you home? Minami-san. Couldn't you have knocked first? Come on, your Granny Tamao and I are best buds. We're neighbors. Think I don't know my way around the place? Anyway, I've got a favor to ask. Oh my god, Jiro-kun, I didn't know you cooked. <laughs> so, uh, what's this favor you need? The favor is... Oh, Minami-san, I didn't know you lived so close. Did you really need to come out? You're Yakushiji-san, our classmate? Wait, no way, are you two... Do you need something from him? It's not what it looks like. This is just... You know, Natsuno-san? Oh, come on in. Pardon my interruption. So this house is still standing. Who are you? My name is Keitaro Miura. So, um, it's kind of complicated, but yeah, I need you to let him stay over for a few days. What? I understand you're Tamao-san's grandson. How do you know Minami-san? Come on, I know you have a spare room. Just let him stay until your granny's back. In exchange, I won't tell anyone you're living with a girl. <laughs> That's not... The details don't matter. Just let him stay, all right? Thanks. See ya. You have to wear your hat all cool, dude. Pardon me. I know Natsuno-san's intentions are good, but... Are you hungry? Why don't you join us for dinner? <sighs> there goes my simple high school life. Things just keep Thank getting God. weirder and weirder. Thirteen hundred meta chips obtained. Okay, so I'll probably alternate between that and battles. I kind of like the pace of that. Beginning of the end. Which are all done already. Strike team fights on the front line. The defense squad intercepts enemies. Health and defense squad are positioned directly around the terminal. Automatically fight with their defensive armaments. Interesting. Now, is it picking a team for me automatically, like a recommended team? Just select it, I suppose. Then we have our plan. Let's move out. Easy there, Hijiyama kun. Don't easy there, me. I'm trying to lead the charge. I just want to go over something before the battle kicks off. Let's try improving the Sentinel. What, a refit? Right now? Sort of. This is one of the meta systems we managed to analyze. Basically, we can use those meta chips you earn in battle. With those, we can make some serious improvements to our armaments and the Sentinels themselves. You might even be able to make some brand new armaments on the fly. That's amazing, Okino. Why didn't you tell me sooner? Well, I haven't even tested it yet. I didn't have a way to confirm it. But hey, no time like the present. So let's give it a try. I hope we don't break it.
try unlocking a new armament and equipping it onto a sun. I get the sense uh, they're both in the same machine. First generation. Deep attack, enhanced, demolisher blade. I do like that the abilities are relatively straightforward. Meta system level 3, 4, 5, 7. Changes the lock on distance and the lock on range. Okay. Should do it with somebody. So this is another part of the meta systems? This is a really impressive find. You're telling me these sentinels can be even more powerful? Do we really have time for this? Um, I'm still not sure if I get it. Yeah. Maybe this shit'll make sense once I actually get to punch something. That should be enough. Even if there's something we forgot, there's no turning back now. Yeah. Let's get going. Alright, let's see. Railgun. Multi-lock missiles. Fourth generation. Convergent lasers. Ores of armor. I like this ability. Adds an extra three missiles, sure. Oh, I've got a bunch of meta chips. So, if I want to level up meta system, do I have to spend meta chips on that, or can I spend all of this money on just leveling up characters here? It's pretty helpful. Attacks, more power. Do I need to use the meta chips to level up meta systems, or can I just dump all of the 24,000 meta chips I have onto upgrading abilities here? Is there like some other thing that I can spend them on other than upgrading these? I want to spend all of it and then find, oh, I need 25,000 to unlock the next level or something. Okay, so don't spend them all. Where do I go to upgrade meta system? Do I have to like do it in combat or something? far left here okay thanks thank you that wasn't clear okay system level two score multiplier does score get me more meta chips These are probably more useful on average than upgrading individual robots. Um, the chip multiplier as soon as possible. Okay. Do a team heal in case of an emergency and I'll save up for chip increase. Indirectly increases meta chips. Okay. Nerve connection. 
The pain is because your nerves aren't used to it yet. More time in the pilot's seat will help condition your body. Eventually, you won't even notice it anymore. Mm. Well, a force of 13 Sentinels makes a formidable team, even accounting for the pilot's inexperience. But the assaults are going to be a lot worse than the one on Sector 3. You're kidding. It'll be even worse than the attack on my city? Warning. Dymo signatures identified. Enemy in range. They're here. Eyes up, everyone. Kind of like the idea of having the defensive characters that aren't, aren't in your active party. They're not just doing nothing at all, which is cool. Gotta think. So I get a warning as to where dudes are going to land, it looks like. Far away, other waves are gonna spawn in here. How does it determine a back attack? get that EP regeneration Number thing 10. too. Something. Seems like EP comes back pretty Gotta fast by default fun. though. Well, that's interesting. So some of them can freely move, some of them have to move on streets. I don't think I appreciated Number that before. Tax. Need a little bit of design Number space. Do you like this game so far? Do I have any complaints? Interested to see where the story is gonna go. Spamming high EP cost abilities constantly. I do like you seeing the drop wave falling in on each other like that. That's cool. Just one more century. No point overthinking it. Number ten, move it now. I'll try. Better put on a show for you, John. Number twenty, move it out. Can't mess this up. What's optimal? Number twenty-two. What now? Advancing. Them landing doesn't like do damage at all, does it? Guys. 
armor. Okay. Okay. What now? I think all the leap attack doesn't cost you a lot in terms of initiative. I think this game justifies the ATB aspect of it, which is hard because I think ATB is basically always stupid. Um, it, it degenerates to turn-based, which is so the computer can act immediately. But here, it's kind of cool that there's like different turn lengths for the different actions you can take. I don't dislike it. Keep making it. How many Sentinel guns can I have out with her? Does it like despawn the old one when I spawn a new one? It's hard for me to notice if that's doing anything. Good. That easy. That's that. Better put on a show for you, John. Don't miss. Bingo. I got him. Termination of enemy signals confirmed. Wait. Game's on Switch too, right? Ending tactical analysis. Looks like all the enemy signals are gone. How long you been sitting on that trick? Why can't we just do that to all of them? If it was that simple, we wouldn't be struggling. The Aegis can't activate unless they get close enough to the terminal. They're after the mainframe and the UFO underground. Their goal is to slip into terminals stationed in various positions across the UFO. If they seize control of the mainframe, our world is as good as gone. Our current situation demands a defensive approach. To keep the terminals safe, we have to rely on the Aegis. So what? The best we can hope for is to keep this one thing safe? Makes it sound like we're getting the shit kicked out of us. It's true. All we can hope for is to protect it to the end. Um. We made it. Cool. Do you get any benefits for like not taking damage or something? Oh, people can level up too, which is neat. Plus one mystery point. <laughs> nice. Mystery file number 82 Sentinel. God. Okay. No. Keep alternating. I think that's good. Mystery files. Okay. I kind of like this, actually. I know it's a, like, ridiculous giant codex, but it works for this game and like all of them are pretty short and they like gate them so it's like a reward to read the codex and, like you actually kind of want to know <laughs> uh okay yep i like click into these i'm oh, just showing you other people who have entries This is basically just a summary of their intro stories, okay. 1944 to 1984. Oh, I didn't realize it started that far in the past. That's why he had the white uniform. That's interesting. His favorite food is yakisoba pot. Okay, and I also unlocked some special ones from completing that mission, right? Okay, designed by Tsukasa Okino. Automated factory. The only thing I have a complaint about with this screen is I wish it had a red versus unread button. 
But I guess that once I read them all here, they're only going to unseal via me spending points. That's the only thing I can spend the points on, right? Like, will these, like, unlock at their own rate if, uh, if I don't spend the mystery points? No credit cards. Four, four, three, six, eight, five, three, two, one, four. Okay, neat. There's another menu here. Okay, so you can see everybody or you can see one person's timeline. Gotcha. Do this since I just unlocked some stuff. Okay. Looks like I've lost them for now. I have to consider my next moves carefully. I like the color here. Stay near the station where it's crowded. Now, I should sort out my thoughts. The note says four four. What could it mean? There's an oral. So if I press R1 that and it skips through it, that means I haven't seen it or I've already seen everything that it's mentioning. As long as it's set to stun, it won't kill. Okay, so that's different. So I can mash R1 to skip stuff. An outdated transceiver cool. for communication purposes. It has a very limited range. The note Sakura High School, Class 1B. Iori Fuyusaka. She definitely looks familiar, but from where? Why can't I remember? Details about the dead woman I found. Chihiro Morimura, 31. Sakura High School nurse. Sakura I High saw School. it mentioned in the, uh, the, the options, and I'm like, okay, so there are probably going to be situations where you're I seeing a scene again. Did I kill her? Did someone order me to do it? Yeah, that's cool. So some of it was repeat, but then it fast forwarded to the part I hadn't so seen I'm before. From another world? I said so in that message to myself. Must have still had my memories when I left it. I also said something about a way to They did a great job with world. all those prologue stories. Like, you have little questions you want answers to. I kind of like that they let you pick which order to learn them in. Seems like they all interact with each other in neat ways. I should stay near the station. Nah, I should... Still not clear. I wish I understood what the icon on the top right means. I think it has something to do with there's still a thing to do from among my items. Maybe if I find this okay. Fuyusaka person, I'll finally remember something. If it was tutorialized, I don't remember. Are you there? Signals from somewhere nearby. That's not good. The note says, I know you can hear me, Setigahara. Don't be a fool. This signals from. I know you. An old fashioned phone. Now pick up. Could it be a phone number? That's cool. I'm not your enemy. The number you have dialed is no longer. I know you can hear me, Sekigahara. Now pick up. I'm not your. Don't be a fool. Oh. There you are. I take it you've seen the recording then. 
Who are you? Just a friend who's trying to help out. A friend? I didn't expect you to be so... thorough. Regardless, you handled the Morimura assignment well. So you're the one who wrote those instructions. I... can't remember anything. That's exactly why I've contacted you. Listen, it's not safe out there. Don't trust anyone. <laughs> Including me. Anyone? Including you. Writes the shit. <laughs> Better to be too careful yes, please, if you can tell me, Chaos. Otherwise, you'll never escape from this world. Escape? In the meantime, just stay put and don't go far. I'll see what I can do about your pursuers. You'll hear from me again soon. It disconnected. No, that's not a phone the number. It says four, four. Don't trust anyone, huh? He mentioned an escape, like I did in that message to myself. What's Should the I difference between green versus red up there? Again. No, he said not to trust anyone, and that includes him. Both the victim and the owner of this ID card are from Sakura High School. Maybe this female student knows something I don't. I don't know if it actually cares about time passing here. So to stay put. Green means consider something, red means use it on something. Okay, cool. That's very helpful. Like, otherwise I'd be stressed out that this is like an adventure game, like spam, use every item on every interactable. But if it's telling me these are places where you can do that and where you have things to check, that seems like a really smart innovation for the genre. Both the victim and the from Sakura. Maybe this... Once day breaks, I'll pay a visit to the school. Sounds like school just started. I'm so late. Uh, crap. She's got a bandage. I need to drop okay. Room first. Hmm. No sign of her. The cat. <gasps> Akun. Yori Fuyusaka. Shihiro Morimura, the one I found dead. I haven't seen you in days. I couldn't stop. I guess green specifically you. means there's something I new know. among the items I that I can consider. Or it means there's a use thing I haven't tried yet. It seems like we're close. Very close. But I can't trust anyone. For now, I'll act like I remember her. I want to hear what she has to say first. Iori, was there something you wanted to tell me? Huh? Well, like I said before, I still like you. Even if it is one-sided. Uh, Good job, bud. This belong to you? Oh, that's my student ID. I thought I'd lost it, but I'm glad you were there to find it for me. Thank you. Do these pills belong to you? Pills? No, those aren't mine. Wait, aren't those the pills you've been taking? Oh, my mistake. These are mine. What are they for? Are you sick? I'm fine. It's nothing to worry about. Shihiro Morimura. She's the school nurse here, right? Huh? Yeah, she is. What about her? <sighs> What if... <sighs> ever since that day, she hasn't come back to school. Could something have happened? Which day? The day I heard about Miss Morimura's secret. Uh, I'm sure she's fine. Morimura. 
Kaimura's secret. We must accept our fate. Huh? <laughs> That's not good. No. Uh -oh. It's okay. He's gone. Thanks. I'm gonna pay a visit to the nurse's office. But those men, won't they be on campus too? <sighs> Why don't you meet me here after school's out? I'll show you where to go. All right. I'll see you later. Bye. We must accept our fate. That's what Chihiro Morimura said. It's hazy, but I think I remember. It's doing the Columbo gesture. So this is where you've been. I figured I'd give the area an advanced survey. Quite the view. Worth taking in one last time. Right. She's committed to never facing the camera. I expect there to be considerable damage. We weren't prepared for them in Sector 1. There was nothing we could do. But not this time. We will fend them off. I certainly hope so. We've managed to prepare 19 Sentinels, and we've had positive results in our battle simulations. That won't mean much if our enemies have evolved. It seems our victory ultimately depends on luck. So let's assume we're met with the worst case scenario. <laughs> if we fail I'm enjoying time, it so far. We'll perform another loop and we'll start over from the very beginning. We'll have a greater chance of another success loop. that way. Even if it means leaving this world behind? No. No more running away. If we don't settle this here, then I'm initiating Operation Aegis. So you intend to close the loop then? If you do, no one will be able to leave. At the very least, we'll survive. You expect us to grow old and die in this godforsaken place. When that time comes, we must accept our fate. In any case. Yes. If we win now, we can avoid such an outcome. I feel like this guy we should have come out in like this world and... banana hammock. Sekigahara-kun. How long have you been standing there? Yeah, his thinking animation is Columbo. <laughs> it's great. I don't know who you people are or where you came from. And frankly, I don't care. Just as long All as you have a unique thinking animation. You, without retreating, that is. You'll be the one in the Sentinel protecting the city. We're counting on you. Well, I assume you have some questions for me. There's something I need to confirm. If I keep my end of the bargain, then you're going to stop using Ryoko-senpai, right? Please understand. I never had any intention of using her. But I'll try to be more careful going forward. For the Sentinels you want command over, you require third-generation machines, right? Correct. Then I'll update their systems as promised. Though I have to ask, why are you having me do this? Wouldn't it be faster to go directly through Morimura? I believe a shift in the chain of command is in order. This is by far the like most interesting giant robots game I've knowledge. played, though. <laughs> Depending on how the situation unfolds, there's a possibility she may resort to drastic measures. Is that what she was just talking about? This... Operation Aegis? <laughs> That's right. Operation Aegis. What is its purpose? The enemy's main target is the underground mainframe. Each terminal is equipped with a self-defense protocol. However, the enemy's attacks seem to bypass it. So the moment they strike, we'll hack the terminal. This will activate the defense protocol. The Aegis system. Isn't that a good thing? Not exactly. Doing so will render our time machine useless. And that means we can never start over again. What's so bad about that? doesn't matter as long as we succeed, right? Time will cease to flow in this world. When it does, yeah, everything I'm will descend so far. into chaos. 
And in the end, we'll be the only ones left behind in this hellscape. I wonder if the, like, Japanese teens going to school thing is like a Trojan horse. It doesn't seem like that has anything to do with what makes this story interesting. It's like, um... Piper being the main character of Orange is the New Black when the story is actually about all of the more interesting characters, right? Okay. Win streak. Uh, mystery points based on total score. Is this always, is this the exact same team as before? Or is it always going to set, uh, a recommended team based on the level. I let you join the strike team experience brain overload. Oh, oh, I like that. That's a cool mechanic. Okay, so consecutive battles is with the same team. Gotcha. I can just let them brain overload too, like they'll automatically retire when that happens. There's no negative consequences other than that now I use the other party. Info's up. Doesn't care about, about team. Those creepy demos? They're excavation models. Drill flies looks like. Those things are already flying. You're telling me they go underground too? Not great from my mech. I can punch like a truck, but I can't reach the guys in the air. The EMP's what you want there. They'll come crashing down to punching range. <laughs> Pain in the ass, though. Losing the Type 98 tank was a big factor in the design. The first-gen Sentinels went in hard on close quarters combat. They ended up with a focus on raw power over mobility. They didn't know they'd have to deal with these flyers. Hey, hold on a sec, Amiguchi. How do you know all this crap? Well, uh, funny story. I guess you could say it just came to me in a dream. What the hell are you talking about? look up if I'm allowed to have multiple sentry guns out or not. This is how RT, like actual RTS games played. Number 10, moving out. But I guess it's okay. not an RTS at all because it has no um, no economy and. None of the other things that make RTS games now. RTS games. Here's the plan. That's all upside for me though. Is not turn based. Everything's happening in real time. Um, if I just let off the button, enemies will just attack me. But characters have a cooldown before you can give them another action. Try. 
they're all flyers, so that's kind of the whole point. Those are annoying. One of the things that bothers me about um, Can't mess this up. use my words here RTS games is that you're kind of expected to constantly be dropping the speed down to make decisions in a different time resolutions which to me is stupid like if you're gonna do that just do this like just make it pause whenever I select the unit and let me tell them what I want it to do right it's it's fine for multiplayer but it's miserable and unfun for single player campaigns satisfying how many enemies they give you. All flyers, right? I could EMP to knock him down. Any reason not to use the meta gauge? I'll try. It doesn't matter because they just die when that happens. They were closer to each other. I guess the leap attack does work on flying enemies. Oh no, it was knocked down from the EMP. guy is pretty much useless in this mission but that's okay what to do what's optimal target can I'll try thank you okay whoa it's a lot of dudes just watch How's that? nice the next move. Coming heat signatures from above
I'm in range. Good. Like how much mobility the Gen 4 robots have. I like how a lot of this is about geometry and like trying to hit as many little enemies as you can within the area of your attack. This kind of feels like a good argument for this sort of game that there's just so many of the enemies. I don't know if you could do that on much, much, much earlier hardware. Probably explains why it's like so abstract, like all the enemies just kind of look like like pixel art Galaga monsters as opposed to having full models and everything. And that's actually kind of a cool choice. I actually think the tutorial battles did a really bad job of pitching why this why the combat in this game is cool. But I guess that makes sense. The purpose of them was to teach you the core mechanics and Give you something to do in between story missions. Is it always better to kill them all versus survive to the Aegis? Terminal closure complete. Surrounding two kilometer area now fully secure. Ending technical analysis. Eesh, what a mess. Yeah. At least this area is okay now. Uh, my head's been really hurting for a while now. Is something going wrong? Uh, now that you say that, mine's pounding too. Something messing with our heads. That's the operating limit of your Sentinel. You'll feel better once you're out. Piloting the Sentinel is an intensely demanding process. Using it puts massive pressure on your brain. You can't remain deployed for extended periods, or you start getting backlash. Don't overdo it. I'm not responsible if you end up decoupling your brain from your nanomachines. Seems I bad. I suggest you get out of the Sentinel right now. Unless you want to forget your entire life. Not exactly a user-friendly robot. Okay. Guess we Let's know what happened. Yeah. 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 Let's rest for one battle. Oh, okay. So you want to, like, swap people out so that you don't have, like, half your team recovering at a really bad time. That's the last of them, gotcha. Right? I'll protect you all. Let's see what that does. Mystery points. Thousand consecutive hits. Win streak bonus. Sweet. I really like that they have a giant team of people, and it seems like the size of the team matters, and they give you a reason to want to use all of the characters instead of just like specializing in a small group. It's always a problem in ensemble casts games. Uh, I guess I need to look for the bonus objectives. Okay. Let's. This is a lot for the story that I'm actually kind of like more compelled with the visual novel than the the shooty mech part. But the shooty mech part's actually pretty fun too. I think they've made it simple enough without it being trivial and it's not like I played giant robot games that are just way too complicated that I've got way too much going on for how much depth the combat actually has here. this showed maybe it does show new okay yeah if it's highlighted like this it's new so this explains why he goes to this school okay um found 11 and 12 And these are her resetting the timeline. They'll be left behind to survive in the ruins of their destroyed world. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. Um, but 
Well, you can do the story in any order, so... Um, I did a story sequence with... A, the kid who lost his memory and murdered the nurse. Being chased by the men in black. He's caught up with uh, the girl bumped into him. Uyusaka. By that one famous writer. <laughs> I think I'm most interested. Oh, okay, that's fine. I like the way that they all interact with each other too. That you can't just like focus one character and do nothing but them for a while. Let's do that then. Uh -huh. Oh, jeez. You really gotta stop doing this. Sentinel number 17, created to fight against the tripods. It's also the robot that BJ used to pilot. His name is BJ. He's an alien that came from a highly civilized planet. His mission was to protect Earth from other evil aliens. So he says... Secret agents were rumored to deal in the extraordinary and silencing those who witness UFOs. They call them men in black. No one really knows much else. Buddy, you gotta stay quiet if we're gonna keep you hidden. Let's go. Let's go to the gate. I'm almost done with practice. We'll go there after. Sound good? Now to know. The gate. Now to know. Let's go. Not okay, so when it turns red, you're done. That's really nice. I do feel bad locking you up in here. But I don't know where else to keep you safe. It's like I told you this morning. No, I don't believe that's true. I'm sorry, BJ. But if I left you in my room, my brothers would come in. They'd be able to find you even if you were hiding. And then we'd have to model my room. Once school's over, I'll help you find what you're looking for. You just gotta be a good boy until then, okay? Yeah, you know. Shh, you gotta stay quiet or those men in black will find you. They really do seem to be everywhere. Come back during break. Just stay quiet until then, okay? So you're gonna be a good little alien, right? That means you gotta stay in there. I'm sorry I have to make you wait, but I'll be back soon. Hey, Bucky, how you doing? Again, Natsuno? Oh, hi. My room gets raided by my little brothers pretty often. Either way, I can't leave BJ at home. As for the track room, no one goes in there until after school. If I put him in my locker, odds are no one would see him. That box on the floor, it's yours, right? Uh, um... Why? You always put it in your locker. Oh, you saw, huh? What is it, anyways? A clock? Uh... Um, what it is, is... Uh, well, it's a... It's a secret. Oh, I get it. Another silly UFO thingamajig. Exactly. Whatever. Just put it away before Senpai sees. <sighs> oh, boy. She's gone now. Not to know. I'm the sentinel. 
We must go to the gate. <sighs> I gotta be careful. This is confidential information after all. <sighs> you don't have any idea, do you? What would happen if they found you? You'd end up in Area 51, dissected on a table. right there <gasps> crap i'm going to need you to show me what's inside your bag <clears throat> stop you're seeing he's still after me what do i do really sucks. If BJ is about to be seen by someone, I'll just hide him in my PE bag. Crisis averted. New building. <gasps> sure, since we know there's a character from the 40s, and so we'll go back to the schoolhouse in the past here too. hey hold it right there okay I was wondering if that was gonna like trigger a bad timeline or something Chased by men in black suits. What? What'd they do? Nothing yet. But if they catch us, who knows? Dissection, maybe. Definitely a full body search. Full body? S so those clothes will probably be in the way. Huh? Thank no. you. That little outfit? Outfit? You mean the spacesuit? Well, yeah. They take the whole thing off. I imagine they'll search every nook and cranny. For real? Those lucky mother. I mean. Those sick bastards! Don't worry. I'll take care of this perv. Huh? Hey! <gasps> you ain't getting away with this, asshole! <laughs> <sighs> what the? Where'd this guy come from? Never seen someone go down so easily. He came from over there. Well, that was... something. Crap, he's coming! Someone was just here. Mm. The hell are you Couldn't doing possibly here? have gone in any job. rooms. Good timing. I could really use your help. What now? We've been pursuing a suspicious individual. She's still in the area and she's concealing something. If I just help him out now, maybe old Four Eyes will let me have my way. Fine. It's an SIU assignment anyway, right? That's why I was hired to go undercover in the first place. All you have to do is locate her. Leave the capture to us. So, what does she look like? There's no way. 
Is Yuki-chan working with the men in black? Yuki-chan. Oh, shit. My best friend's meddling. Cool. That's cool. Oh, she sits goofy. Okay, so it's like two battles is enough to brain overload. I guess maybe there's you can like level them up and get stats, so that's not the problem. Sorry, I'm on it. Let's go. Do they not defend if they're uh, brain overloaded? So it makes sense if they didn't. not to just put a bunch of points in the thing that gives me more experience points, right? Interesting. I'm excited to see where they're going with the evolution of the kaiju. Does retry cause me to lose? Um, does it count against my win streak? tolerate having one person set the defense since I just need to sit here for a second anyway but so the shield only lasts six seconds want to be meleeing there I think let's see number 12 we're moving out I can do this an enemy threat range here goes was that okay not as amazing as it could have been Shot. 
This is a much trickier map. And my previous team would have been a better setup for this. Probably should be worried about that one's attack here. I'm trying to move around it. Make it action. Yeah, I think this is the first real battle here. Those guys are annoying. It's fine. Got too much armor, though. It's the one that ignores armor. Need you to help out elsewhere. Leave it to me. I hit. It's pretty good. And EMP stunner is probably better here. This isn't so hard. So it's projecting who all is going to get hit by it. Okay. Big boy is going to require my one guy with demolisher blade. in that way. It's cool that you can like chart your path to try to avoid damage from stuff like that. Established that was pretty bad. Okay, doesn't do enough damage to the drill guys. This one I'm a little bit worried about. We'll see what happens. Now's the time to do this. Kills all the babies pretty much for free. Knocks Let's everybody see. back. Take this. How's the sentinel? Oh, 
Don't let up. Knocked down so it interrupted its attack, so that's helpful. She's better on support, I think. They've got me trapped. What's the plan? Do you like that they trap you like that if you get stuck in melee next to them? Or does it tell me the time cost of doing stuff? Because like I've learned that the jump attack costs less time than uh, done. the other attacks here. How was that? <laughs> Hope I can help. Deploying yeah, that's kind of cool that it shows so, you which ones are aggroed on it. This game is really good at giving you a lot of information. I feel like this could like actively be super annoying to play if it didn't give you so much information. Team I stand for eight. What unbelievable! I'm acting like an amateur. Stay calm. Remember your training. Did I get it? Enemy unit destroyed. No room for hesitation. What's the plan? So like if I get in range with the melee character, I get to move more for free, essentially, it seems like. I need to think things through. There's still hope. So I should get an extra meta usage if I'm gonna put in the points that let me do the group heal. So I can't use it if I also use the EMP. I guess that's good to use when I'm waiting to get for the enemies to get in range. That's really cool. I like that that's a nice way to balance the melee units, who I imagine would be kind of underwhelming without that. They'd be too slow to do stuff. Okay, I like they tell you, so enemy threat means you could cancel their movement and go in and immediately punch them, right? You are done. How was that? Save yourself some initiative. Oh, damn it. I won't give us all pretty freaky. This is, we must survive. We will not. So, let's finish. Unbelievable. I'm acting like an amateur. Ah! A fine hit. Enemy on the move. We must Stay all Stay calm. Remember your training. Knocked him too far back, yeah. Where are they? The practice rounds. Enemy on the move. We must what the we will not. I'll make it work. What's the plan? Goodbye. That work? <laughs> Termination of enemy signals confirmed. Yeah, I really like the combat in this. I think it's exciting. I'm more interested in the story, but this is fun to do, and it feels like it's not like super Turn trivial. And it seems like the maps feel really distinct from each other, where like the pattern of the waves really justifies using different characters or different abilities. 
you know, just have the same busted thing that you do every round. We're ruining thousands of people's lives. We have evacuation measures in place, but they're far from perfect. And the efforts still lack direction. We tried to reach out to governments and financial institutions through Shikishima for all the good that did. What are we gonna do? Not fight back? This is all we can do if we want to save the world from these creeps. We've got kaiju signals popping up nearby another terminal. We got tons of civilians over there. Thanks to all the highways being backed up. Come on, Miwako. Please tell me you didn't take a bus. Hey, maybe we could send a drone out to check on Miwako? On it. Worth a shot anyway. Hope my mom and dad made it out. I told them exactly what to do. Guess we pushed them back. All we can do is keep fighting. One character on defense. Oops, I didn't mean to. I think it just said I unlocked something in the mystery screen, probably. chocolate chocolate sold in 2025 <laughs> okay manufactured by Volkswagen UFOs and aliens never actually end up appearing. The search for them is fascinating enough to carry the show. Is it? Okay. Let's see. If I wanted to keep doing his, I'd have to keep doing... Natsunomi Nami is so I kind of like changing characters each time. Huh? Yeah, so she didn't even get a prologue sequence at all, right? She showed up in other characters' stories. This must be it. Of course, the track room's all the way in the back. Oh. Her thinking animation. Nachan. Can't top the Columbo one. No way! Yuki-chan? You got tall, Nachan. Your hair's so long, Yuki-chan. I almost didn't recognize you. You're the one who told me to grow it out. Remember? That's right. You stopped writing back to me. I was worried, you know. Yeah. Sorry. A lot of things happened after the move. But I just got transferred here. Today's my first day. Really? I knew you went to this school too. Figured I'd find you eventually. It's good to see your face again. Though, I never took you for a track girl. <laughs> oh, there's so many things I want to talk to you about. Aren't you in the middle of practice right now? I've got to get somewhere too. But now, we can see each other anytime. Yeah. Totally. Keep working hard, Nachan. You know it. Later. That famous author, you know the one. See you tomorrow, Yuki-chan. Yuki-chan, so you're finally here. Nachan, my childhood friend. We went our separate ways in middle school, but we still kept writing to each other. She's the only person I really care about. Don't call me that. I don't like being called by my name. But I just heard... I didn't ask your opinion. Shut up. It's fine if it's her. Uh, you remember me, right? I don't know. Who are you again? How about the guy you were destined to meet? More like a random guy I bumped into in the shopping district. Don't get all weird about it. Aw, you're so cruel, Yuki-chan. I said quit calling me that. Hey, I'm Iguchi. 
I've been looking for you. Ugh, Nenji Ogata. The hell? Well, well, well. If it isn't Takami of Suzu High, what are you doing on our turf? Not trying to stake a claim, are you? She just transferred here, actually. Built up a reputation as a tough guy. All the way back in middle school, actually. Every delinquent around here knows who he is. Some flirty rich kid who won't stop following me around. He seems to be close friends with a gang leader at Sakura. <laughs> a transfer, huh? You got the wrong uniform on, sweetheart. Oh, look, th that's... It's just because that damn four eyes made a mistake. I mean, obviously. Don't want to go around wearing those girly skirts anyhow. Seems kind of weird if you ask me. A transfer at this time of year? Maybe that's just how it happened for her. Or maybe she's trying to pull some shit. Hey, just lay off already. But why'd she come here of all places? Why here? Well... I'm maybe a secret agent? Or I'm pretending to be one? Found her. Go on then. I've been waiting for you. You're dismissed. I'd like to speak with her alone. Yuki Takamiya, 16 years old. A first year at Suzugamine Girls High School. Entered a boys' school and engaged multiple delinquents, 12 of which were sent to the hospital. Your reputation precedes you. I went to Nigakuri to settle a score, and somehow the cops managed to sniff me out. One of those dicks must have snitched. Any of those Kuri boys end up dead? Three had bone fractures, the others just bruises and scrapes. <laughs> That's too bad. Hmm. Got something to say? They're the ones who laid their filthy hands on my friend. All I did was give them what they had coming. None of your damn business anyways. You drag me out of the pen just for this? You're really earning your pay today, aren't you? Well, go on. Rake me over the coals. See if I care. That seems like a waste of time for both of us. Allow me to get to the point. We've taken notice of your particular set of... skills. We'd like to work with you. Seriously? And by that, you mean selling out my friends? I'm not gonna be your stooge, and I don't work with cops. Go find nice. some other sucker. Your father... Heita Takamiya, oh, it's a too. a sentence for the murder of a gang member. Yeah? So what? There have been attempts on his life by other inmates. Not surprising, since the man he killed was a gang leader. I imagine it's a matter of reputation for them. Your father has been assaulted twice, but he is alive. For now. <sighs> now, if we were so inclined, it would be quite easy to transfer him to a safer facility. Contingent on your cooperation, of course. God, I hate you already. He's behind bars for stabbing a Yakuza. Maybe he's nothing but a two-bit gangster, but he's the only real family I have. On to business, then. Are you familiar with Shikishima Industries? Publicly, they manufacture a wide range of products. Rockets, planes, trains, ships, even home appliances. Giant robots. Not so publicly. It seems they're also developing nuclear weapons. We suspect they are colluding with another nation to do so. And what does that have to do with me? We began investigating and found that several miners are connected to these weapons. All of these children are of high school age. Makes sense. being rounded up at a school affiliated with Shikishima. So they're using kids to make nuclear weapons? This shit sounds ridiculous. It needs to be about teenagers, though. We literally can't tell stories that aren't about teenagers. Shikishima. <laughs> it's that company with all those commercials for TVs and fridges. So they're making weapons, too? It's like that scene in Steins Gate where it's like, we're from CERN. Your property, your time machine is the property of CERN. They all have, like, guns and they, they're dressed like men in black. A few bastards got that much dirt on them. Why don't you just bust into Shikishima yourselves? We'd prefer not to have this go public. And the less the police are involved, the better. Wait, if you're not the cops, then who the hell are you guys? We are a special investigations unit. Government established and affiliated. Some might call us 
spies. I am director of the SIU, and your superior. That damn Four Eyes. He says there's some spy agency. It's short for Special Investigations Unit. They may not be cops, but they're honestly all the same to me. I think honestly, the only thing I'm gonna end up disliking about the game is the fact that it is a bunch of high school students. Cause like, I think the story they've set up is amazing and would work fine if all these characters were just adults, right? But you know. All right, so they're making weapons, but what do these kids have to do with it? I'm glad to see I've piqued your interest. Take a look at those documents on the table. It's a list of their names. One of those situations where I'm willing to like grade it on a curve and say, okay, well, given that they had no choice but to feature high school students, is the story good? Uh, yes, <laughs> it is so class far. Class 1B, Iori Fuyusaka. Class 2A, Renya Goto. More Class 1, Kisaragi, Karabe. Talk about with something like... Class 1C. That's no Minami. It only works if you're in puberty or something, right? And that someone is you, Yuki Takamiya. Not John, but why her? Before we get into the specifics of the job, do you have any questions for me? Personal space. Allow me to introduce you. This is Ryoko Shinonome. She is another undercover investigator, and your superior. Just as she did, you'll be transferring to Sakura High School. We'll handle the paperwork. Hey, pump your brakes, you old man. I haven't agreed to any of this shit yet. They got dirt on you too, Dopey? Is she the one? Yes, she is. Hey, I'm talking to you. She doesn't look like she knows much. <laughs> I can already tell I'm not gonna like you. <sighs> you have quite the abrasive personality. Power walk's pretty good too. We're not finished. Do you accept your assignment? I don't give a shit about your assignment. Well then, I think it's safe to say we're not getting through to her. Don't worry. She will work with us. It's her destiny after all. I think they're being literal there because of the whole time thing. No sign of her today either. Where are you, Nachan? Class 1C, that right? Yes. Natsunomi Natsu Nami's in your class, isn't she? Oh, yeah. She's been out for three days now. Have you heard anything? The teacher just said she was out sick. Did they hear from her directly? I don't know. <clears throat> Sorry for bothering you. Seems to know anything. Mm, I hope Natsuno chan's okay. <sighs> what should we do? Stop by Natsuno chan's house again? Those weird guys might still be there, though. <sighs> <sighs> hey, you! <sighs> Got a sec? I heard you talking about Natsuno Minami. Who are you? Takamiya, but that's beside the point. I want to know what's going on with Natsuno. Why hasn't she been coming to school? It sounds like they she can't hasn't talk been to me anything. Either. We went to her house yesterday, but her mom just kept apologizing over the intercom. The police were there too. Were they really the police though? <sighs> well, that's worrying. Thanks for letting me know. What are you doing here, huh? Sorry. Not 
Sean hasn't been at home either. And those cops, or whatever they are, what were they doing there? What are you doing? Those guys they thought were the police. They're agents with the SIU. In any case, Natsuno Minami isn't your concern. She's a part of my assignment, so stay out of my way. Are we clear? I think hey, it's because this kind of media is targeted at a certain audience and... What could have happened to Nachan? It's the same reason we'll never see a Persona game that's all adults. Do what I do best. We'll just keep making the same game over and over. This is Even college students would be interesting. I thought I made it clear that you are not to contact me. I need to know what happened to Natsuno Minami, and I know you have answers. Teenagers run away from home all so This the is good, time. because now she's, like, cooperating say, for she's out sick. a good reason, not because the story just dictates story that she should, right? So which is it, huh? I'm not an idiot, you know. Your suspicions are not unfounded, but our investigation is still ongoing. I don't have a clear answer myself. We don't know where she is, or even if she's still alive. The evidence so far points to kidnapping. Who the hell would want to kidnap her? Shikishima? They could have done it without anyone realizing she was gone. There'd be no need to draw such attention to themselves. No. Someone else is behind this. And that's who Shinonome is looking for? <laughs> Someone at the school could be behind this. It's possible they are there even now. In any case, the situation is dangerous. I suggest you keep your nose out of it. Shinonome-kun has this under control. As for you, Takamiya-kun, you will continue to monitor the other students as instructed. Have I made myself clear? <laughs> Screw that. Kidok. Okay, so their fatigue is at the top there, I see. It's literally just two battles by default, which makes sense. So let's do. Let's go. Let's go. Leave it to me. Here goes. Got it. Allow me. Oops, don't do that. Tricks. Fourth generation. Does a chip multiplier only apply to battle rewards, or does it come from story rewards as well? Should pick that up eventually. Guess I could take the score boost on the off chance that I finish a mission without needing to use anything. Okay, that works a little differently than I thought it would. More defenders is always good. So the main downside of brain overload is not having any defenders. We have to deal with these now. This isn't gonna be pretty. What, these wheelie guys? Are they really that bad? Drum mines. Their bombs originally intended for excavation support. Its entire body is filled with RDX. Once the target's within blast range, the whole kaiju detonates. A single drum mine self-destructing could cause incredible damage to our sentinels. You know. That sounds like something we might be able to use. True. If we knock them away just before detonation, that could wipe out a whole swarm of kaiju at once. We use their own weapons against them. But is it really going to be that easy? We'll see. Yeah, talking. We'll give them a taste of their own damn medicine. Talk is keeping us off them all.
So when they get destroyed that way, they don't blow up and do damage, it seems like. This way. What can I do? Now then. Nah, gotta think. Okay. What's the plan? Stay calm. What's optimal? They're like any. Still what do I do? Hey, thank you, Kevin. Yeah, this game's really fun so far. And the story is really interesting. I'm enjoying it. Appreciate that. How have you been? That's a lot of drum wheels. The dream. Like any other punks. Die already. Got him. See ya. Here's the plan. Only really too far. Ball. Number twenty two. Stay on guard. Hit confirmed. Wait eight seconds, auto fires on Kaiju. I think you can only have one of those out at a time, it seems like. Over here, too. Locked on. Good. Number ten. Probably worth upgrading later. Definitely. Just watch. Get it. Kaboom.
Nice. That was much easier than the previous mission. I think they're probably going to do something where it's like only teenagers have the neuroplasticity necessary to pilot the robots or whatever. There's a way to force it into the <laughs> setting if they need to. But... I hope they at least try to do that. Die hard. Gotta stay calm. Sprinter. Okay, so I want to check out what all those are before I go back to visual novel. Where do I see the bonus objectives? Are those posted when you're just hovering over the mission? Bento with meatballs. Yeah, I don't see anything if I just hover over this one. It's a boss wave, it looks like. Oh, bottom right. Four strike team members. Here without a sentinel being immobilized. City defense rate. Okay. Gotcha. Anti air argument. Airmen are protected against them given their low power. Unlock and equip an EMP seal from arms customization. Okay. Any individual character can do that. Oh, but it's expensive. Okay, I see. The fact that they can do it all the time is pretty powerful. I can do this with two fewer members and make some progress. And does their brain overload? They have to brain overload, right? Unless if I activate recover. Ah, uh, but it resets your win streak. Okay, so we don't want to do that. Gotcha. And I just have to tactically decide who gets knocked out. So me alternating the team like that isn't really helping unless if I'm alternating like half of them to brain overload. I think I understand this time. Okay. Um, Let's go. Want to see her pilot skills? Tactical analysis, the more kaiju appear, the higher all stats increase. Sprinter, move speed increases when not piloting a sentinel. Stay calm. It's cool, endure basically. I like you can turn them on or off. Let me make a future Marstead note really quick, just in case I forget and have to come back to this mission. Um, sort of, well, I'm playing this once per week, so it shouldn't be a big deal, but. Oh, well, thanks, Frosty Feet. Appreciate that. You're kind to say so. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Been doing okay in the algorithm lately. It's really fortunate. Um. So I need to take, before I spend anything else, I have to take EMP Attractor on somebody. At least one person in the mission. I like that the game gives you a reason to get a specific upgrade like this for a boss mission like this. Um, instead of just letting me get away with my kind of stupid strategy of, well, I'm just gonna increase the number of XP points or the number of meta chips I get after every level. So we'll do that when I come back to that uh, analysis I just unlocked. It's 
pretty good. Delinquent girls. Thanks for that. Yeah, it makes sense so far. The illustrious Dr. Space. Got it. by men in black escaped to the school building watch what exactly Shh. stand over here quietly watch the laundry basket <laughs> did you see that Minami crap this is bad you know what I think this is mm, it's a spy camera from a peeping Tom <sighs> It's the same creep that trashed this room. He must have set this up. Sentinel? His name? My, if I put him in my... I can't believe my one and only Yuki-chan. She's working with the men in black. That means she can't know. She can't know about BJ. Actually, this is... Uh, this is mine. Yours? Yeah, it's a... Uh, it's an alarm clock. A clock? Make an alarm clock noise. Unless I look at this clock. Isn't it kind of big? It's fine. Okay, bye. <sighs> I gotta be careful. You gotta lock it's your locker. Information after all. If BJ is about to be seen by someone, I'll just hide him in my PE bag. Crisis averted. Okay, bye. Hmm? You're going home dressed like that? Every uh, day. Yeah, I'm just in a hurry, so. <laughs> Man in black. So I got caught here last time. It's kind of interesting that the scene was slightly different when I came back here. That's cool. Yeah, I tried having him catch me on purpose, hoping that that was going to be a alternate path, and I guess it was. That's neat. Okay, we're here. Where should we look this time? How about Sector 1? Sector 1 has been searched. No sentinel found. I see. Bomber. What about Sector 2? 2065. We have been there. That's where we saw the tripods. It's too dangerous. 
What's that one at the bottom? Sector 5. 1945. Whoa. So we can travel to the past, too? Hey, that's the year the Pacific War ended. Let's check it out. Access code approved. Designating sector. I'm interested to see how that's gonna play into the story. is all old and musty in my time but it smells like fresh wood they must have just built the place this all feels like a dream check it out vj it's my school in the past you really can drift back and forth through time can't you yes, you know i know i know we have to be careful not to change anything in the past or else we'll totally screw up the future if we're 40 years in the past, then Dad's only three years old. He's probably at Grandma's house. Don't create a time paradox. A quick peek wouldn't hurt, would it? Okay, yeah. we're not going to do... Okay. <laughs> well, I appreciate them hinting at it and like, yeah, we're not going to do that. So, is the Sentinel here? Grandma's paradox. Detected a drone signal. An active Sentinel is present. Sentinel activated. This is my classroom. The sign looks a little different, though. Someone's here. We've got to hide. Hmm. <sighs> oh, damn. Goto-san. Right on time. Here's your pill supply for the month. Are these the same ones I had last month? Why do you ask? Please, just be That's honest the same with pill me. bottle. The pills you've been giving me, they let me see the future. But these new pills are different. I feel awful when I take them, and they make me forget what I've seen in my dreams. You must continue your treatment. They'll completely eliminate your nightmares. Nightmares? These don't feel like... Trust me. They'll help you revert to your original state. We're putting an end to this operation. Goto-san, please wait. I can't. Uh, life split timer got stuck. It's I fixed it. Only hope of survival. Uh, it's no use. I can't remember the weapon at Ayame Pass. No, I can't remember anything. Sorry, sorry. Just looking around real quick. Was that Goto Senpai? How's that even possible? How could he be here? 40 years in the past. Maybe it was his grandpa. Looked just like him. A sentinel at Ayame Pass. Huh? The place that woman mentioned. Oh, right. Ayame Pass. Wait. You mean where the park is? There is no park in 1945. Let's go. Let's go. It's a giant robot. Can you try not to ditch me? Can't believe we're running around in a military base. What if they find us? So this is the Sentinel. It's huge. How does someone lose something so freaking big? The Sentinels are linked to the shifter. It was shifted here. Crazy. Anyhow, I'm just glad we found it. This is Sentinel number 19. Right. You said number 17. Correct. We're searching for Sentinel They did it. It got time traveled back to 1945. 19. I think we everything got built in the distant future. What happened to him? I have confirmed a cease in his vital functions. Do you mean he's Correct. He is dead. PJ a critical change has been detected. Huh? The Sentinel's primary system has been altered. 
altered. Someone bypassed and rebuilt it. I don't really know what that means. Maybe one of the people here did something to it. That would be impossible with the technology of this era. Okay. I'll yeah, see you same. tomorrow at 0800. <gasps> Someone's coming. Understand. Why is Professor Doji suspending operations? I know the Sentinel like the back of my hand, and I have no problem taking it to the front lines. Even there, I can perform. That explains full power. why she shows up with them. So why? All right, enough. I'm starting to sound like Takatoshi-san. Nothing to get riled up over. I'm sure the people in charge have their reasons. Once the order comes, I'll be ready to lay down my life, and even if it never does. I'll still be ready. He's gonna fight too? Dang! Now someone's coming from the other way! Jeez! It's been a while, number 19. Let's have a look at you. Huh. Well, it looks like an alternate route was successfully created. They're a really it interesting character. Worked. And on my second test subject, no less. Impressive, Keitaro Miura. Nanomachine reconstruction agitates the brain, but you endured the process without losing your mind. With this data, I'll be able to take over the Sentinels. Goodness, I should be on my way. Professor Doji's security detail will return any moment. I think they're going to do a teenage neuroplasticity. Sentinel. It's like and there's one more they're adult like enough to be able to make decisions with it, but measure. their brains won't fry there like they would in an adult or as something. As long as they come into contact with Miura Kun, the data should spread to the others. I still suspect that the the first impulse there is we want them to be high school students, knowledge justified, and not the other way around. Guy? But that's okay. Should leave. Let's hurry. Yeah, you're right. Actually, surprise! I'm really interested in basically all of the plot lines in this game. Like none of them have been duds so far, and each of these sequences have been fun and interesting. I usually try to give you like one little piece of information. Someone's coming! Quick, hide! Actually, really impressed at the way that you can do these in any order almost. I guess that's why they have the ones where you're locked out. Like you have to do this one before you can do this one. They have a little bit of progress locking. Please, the data is complete. I suppose negotiating with the professor was the right choice. Huh. The settings have been tampered with. Was someone just here? It seems this gate has been compromised as well. I'll set it back to the original I like that the gates are key. the Tory gates. It's cool. I'd best take my leave. Just use the gate? Is he an alien too? He changed the key. I can no longer shift. Seriously? No. We can't go home? Analysis will be complete in 78 hours and 24 minutes. I can't stay here that long. Oh, yeah, I really like the storylines locking on each other. I think that's a really cool way to structure the game. It's like quest prerequisites in RuneScape, right? What was that just now? Someone else is coming. I think that like structuring it this way where you can do it in almost any order with some occasional lock and key sequences means that there's writing pressure to make each of the individual scenes work on their own without any context from the rest of the game. And I think that's great um, because a lot of like individual scenes in Persona 5 were super dull or didn't really accomplish anything. And I guess the game like in aggregate was was interesting like the the premise was cool it came from around here i think tokisaka shrine 
Maybe I saw a visiting god. But I like how, like, because I did the Not scene like earlier it. where I saw him staying in the house so with the, with the MC. Off. It's already night. Now I can speculate she about that. Probably worried about me. State your name. I know you're there. Freeze. Beautiful. Who are you? <laughs> Love it. I don't know how the time travel rules work yet, but my suspicion is that every time you time travel, you create another reality. That's like the cleanest way to do yes. it. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we got about 13 minutes left. It's probably enough time to do this boss fight. So I have to teach somebody, at least one person, this ability. I guess it doesn't really matter who I take because I'm going to have this problem of them being out of commission. I need to reset all of them to zero. Um, and then I can start trying to be more tactical about who gets brain locked when. The character from among these who's the least, she has EMP stunner by default. But then there's also specific EMP ability. The attractor does it tend to go on the melee guys? I guess that makes sense. So I could pick that up for both of them. Let me make sure I am using him. No, I'm not this time. No slot for it. Yeah, I love that scene in Looper. Sit here making diagrams all day. Who cares? I think it, it might matter to this story, though, because if we're able to revisit timelines that we've changed, I don't need them to, like, have a perfectly self-consistent time travel logic. I, did, I could not give less of a shit about that. Um, but I'm curious, like, every time travel story has to pick rules for its own story to work, so I'm curious what rules they've picked. Um, it's just the one guy I need to worry about. Drop one of them. Got Actually, let's just go with this. This is funny. Oh, they're sorted by generation. I see. I missed that before. All rounder, long range, flight support. Try dropping it down to four characters. Let's see what happens. That scene exists in Looper because the specifics of how time travel works in Looper are un they're not relevant to the story. So it's a good scene in that case. Very smart on Ryan Johnson's part. Carriers. What do I do? Still not 
Remind myself what everybody has here. MP stunner. can take them out, but I need to drop the big guy as the crowd. I just wait with him for a second. damage when you knock him down. Armor piercing, you love to see it. still be down when my pompadour guy's turn comes back up. He is. I think the phase EMP okay. is just going to murder all of them. Gotta keep it together. Number three. What to do? Okay. What now? Let's do this. Energy's a problem there, that's fine. Number 21, on the move. On this. Might be unnecessary. I think he kills it in two hits no matter what there. in range yet. Yeah.
There we go. Yay, I like that mechanic. It's cool. It's like a stagger, essentially. Pretty good damage. Does touching the map edge cause you problems? I don't think I realized that. I guess it's a tricky way to figure that out. Close, but not quite dead. They ought to be like any other punks. They ought to be used to fights by now. Okay, let's do this. Still not used to this thing. Here you go. How's that? Say your prayers. I'll try. Summon brings my guy back, basically. When I'm repairing, I'm not in the Sentinel. I don't think I know I understood that before. I'm fine as long as I don't land on the edge of the map. Sweet. Aegis activation confirmed. The terminal is now completely sealed off. We did it. They've changed targets. The next terminal is just over there. They're already on the move. Can't even let us catch our breath, huh? I haven't hit my operating yeah. limit yet, but I'll be dismounting the Sentinel temporarily. Whoa, hey, then who's taking point? We don't need orders to kick some ass. Sentinel, activate. You can relax, kids. I'm back in the fight. I won't be long. I'll leave the rest to you. Fine then. Let's roll, Yuki-chan. Did we do it? Come on, guys. We got some ass to kick. I got this. Learn, don't touch the edge of the map. Nice. Okay, uh, future Marstead. Uh, keep alternating adventure levels here in Remembrance. Check the analysis after missions. Um, look at the mystery stuff. Unlock new mystery items in the codex. Uh, make notes if you need them. 
I really like this game. Um, this is, I, I like this game a lot better than Odin Sphere so far, knowing it's from the same creator. They're not comparable at all, like completely different games in virtually every possible way. But I think it, it's making me more excited to come back to Odin Sphere once we finish this, because if, you know, the creator has been this talented all along, <laughs> it makes me look forward to stuff that's later in that game. Um, but the story is really compelling. It's really solid sci-fi so far. I really like the way it's structured. I've never seen a game structured quite like this. I like that it's difficult to really compare it to anything else. It's not quite right to call it a visual novel. It's not quite right to call it an RTS. It's not quite right to call it a giant robot game. It's not quite right to call it a tactical RPG. Um, it's its own thing, and it would be cool to see other games kind of like borrow ideas from this in the future, because uh, I think it's really, really well executed so far. So yeah, thanks for plugging votes into it and plugging sub block time into it, Kevin. Uh, we'll be playing this again next Monday and then the following Monday, and that should put it at a point where it's likely to win the next vote deadline. So I guess just keep that in mind.